DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? Putting it down, we just started in something new, you know what I'm saying? Starting my own podcast called Riding High with DJ Lil King. And I got my first guest in the building today. Man is a Northside legend, a corpus rap pioneer, been putting it down with the merchandise, been putting it down in the streets since way back in the day, even though he's not in the streets no more. This boy is a certified, I ain't gonna say, this, this man is a certified OG. This boy has, this man has kids that people are looking up to in today's times. Today's guest today is none other than my dog, Daddy Cree, man. What's up with it, man? Shit, I'm a, shit, I appreciate being here. I, you know, I, 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 I come to break it in with you. You know what I'm saying? Already, you get already. this thing rolling, man. You know, feel free to ask whatever you ask, man. And like, like you say, man, we gonna we gonna do our thing in this motherfucker. For sure, for sure. Where did Where did Daddy Creek grow up at, man? I grew up in uh Northside Manor, on the on the Northside area, man. On the in the Northside era area, uh, I grew up with a. I grew up with a, uh, I was adopted, you know what I'm saying? When I was two years old, I was adopted to a Janetta and a Leroy Martin into that, into that family. So that family pretty much raised me, man. And, uh, like, how could I, how could I say it? Like, a lot of the, a lot of my partners that I grew up with in that neighborhood, because the people that, that adopted me, man, they were they were an older couple, man. And, and I had a brother that stayed upstairs, you know what I'm saying, on the third floor. He already had family, kids, shit like that. So I was a lot of the lot of the youngsters that I had grew up with, the the younger kids, they were like brothers to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Because when I was adopted into this family, man, there were no kids in the house. I was the only kid and they were they were really old enough to be my grandparents. Oh, okay. You know I see, I see now. You know I see now. Saying? I see now. Already, already. So they already had kids that was like older type shit. Whenever yeah, like already. Yeah, they had kids. Okay, so yeah, so they you kids had kids. Look, <laughs> check it out. Check it out. This how, this how old they were. They had kids, right? Yeah. That had kids. That had kids. Dang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Even 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 their kids' kids were older than me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All they right. were really like <clears throat> my brother kids or like my uh my uh you know my nieces and nephews. I always call them my uncles because they're older than me, right? Already. But you know, and their kids their kids are my great nieces and nephews, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And they have kids now. Yeah. That are getting ready to graduate from high school. Damn. That are my great great nieces and nephews. You know, so it's crazy, man. God but damn. yeah. So what was it like growing up in Northside Manor? What was it like growing up, not just in Northside Manor, but what was it like growing up in the Northside in general back in those times when you was growing up as like a young young kid? When I, when I was a youngster, like I was I was like my mom was real protective over me. You know what I'm saying? So I couldn't like really do what I wanted, what like majority of the kids could do, but I could get around. You know what I'm yeah. saying? She let me get around like. A Jimmy Gale, these are some of my OGs. Jimmy Gale and the Creston Miller, she trusted me with them. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about trusted me with them. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? They were older. If, 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 if my partners wanted to go to the movies, and man, they'd be like, Creek, go ask your tea lady. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, Mama, can I go? She'd be like, Nah, I'll be mad as hell. But if Creston or, or Jimmy Gale was yeah. going, she'll pay them to take a nigga with them. You know? So I was always good. So the kids that was. Around your age, around the time they was already uh, probably getting into shit to where your people didn't just want you in that type of shit. Is that kind of yeah, what well, it was? It, I, don't, I don't think it was that. I think it was because the situation why I was adopted. Okay, okay, okay. Why they were overprotective, you know? Okay, okay. they ain't gonna let nothing happen to me, you know? What okay, I'm I feel you. I situation why I was adopted, but uh, but growing look, man, I swear to God, bro, I didn't know we was poor. You dig what I'm saying? I didn't know we was poor, bro. Uh, as a kid. What, what, growing up in Northside Mountain with Marcus Davis, Marvin Miller, Chris Miller, uh, Jimmy Lee and Daryl, Plazell, Neil Warren, Holt Nim, you know what I'm saying? The Luckies, man. I'm talking about, man, these names, uh, uh, Pimp, Chris Jones, them. I mean, these names go on and on and on. Stick out, these names go on and on and on and on. Growing up, man, in that neighborhood, bro, it was fun as fuck, my nigga. Oh, really? You know what I'm talking about? I told you, bro, I didn't know we was poor. <laughs> it was fun as hell, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like having like team dances and all this type man, of stuff. Like, 
Man, look, bro. <laughs> look, you could look, man. It was so live, like it was like it was music everywhere. Like oh, yeah, it was yeah. so live, man. There was, I don't care, man. You went to a partner house. Somebody's on the porch playing. Some old folks on the porch playing a a a, a, a guitar with the with the amplifier, man. Uh, uh, real walking by with a goddamn cart, yeah. cart rigged up with yeah. a with a, with a house speaker, a goddamn uh car stereo thing yeah. hooked up to the shit, pushing this bitch down the street. You know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? I'm talking about like man. And black was, back in those days, you had a lot of black folks playing the guitars, like you yeah, were saying, like shit, yeah, yeah, all, all that type of stuff. Yeah, because I had an uncle, that, he still played that guitar to this day. Bro, man. check it out. It used to be man. It, it was ba- it was bands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, oh, it, man. Of, it was a lot of black bands around, bro. Like. Like uh, doing uh, motherfucking me uh, say June nineteenth, June tenth, you know yeah, like yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. Juneteenth at uh at, at Hillcrest Park or at uh at, at Ben Garza Park. Yeah, they used to have one at uh, you know what I'm saying, house. West Gooth Park at uh at uh Is it at South Hill Bluff Park? Park. I remember they used to have one too. I think over there uh, South Bluff Park right here down the street too, if I ain't mistaken. Kind of right here off of uh, that's, that's uh that's what's the name? That's uh I just I just said the name of the motherfucker. Already, already, already. I just said the name. Already, of the, already. That, that's what that place. Okay, is bet, right bet, there. bet. Hell yeah. That's what that place is right already. there. Already. Yeah, I remember my grandpa taking me over there, and they had it like real organized. They used to have it was, like it was always live, man. That era, dog, like real, real talk. That era, man. Black people loved each other. It's not like this shit how we treat each other today, bro. You know, I don't give a fuck what nobody say. We're our worst enemy. I don't care what nobody say, bro. I'm sick of that uh, pointing the finger shit. No, nigga, we got to start pointing our fingers at each other. Hell but yeah. we'll get to that down the line. All right. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but All at right. that time, bro, I'm talking about black people love the fuck out of each other. We, can, we were pretty much in the same goddamn neighborhood, whether we were on the... The north or the west, we was like congealed in this little yeah, spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Regardless of where we were, and man, we loved on each other, dog, because we couldn't like, like a nigga couldn't just look. It was, it was, it was. You were afraid to embarrass your parent. Yeah, Put yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. You, dig what yeah. I'm you carried, you, were, you carried you, that yeah, name. You, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you were afraid to embarrass your parents, my nigga. Yeah, Not yeah. like today, how these kids are. Yeah, say yeah. this type of shit and Hell, all that yeah. type of shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, nigga, you, you was, we was afraid to embarrass our parents, Hell, man. Yeah. You know that, what that last name. That Fuck shit, up that, that, that last yeah. name. Hell, yeah. Like, like real shit. And guess what? The, the people in the neighborhood weren't finna let you fuck up they, your your people last name. Knowing if your if your mom and daddy was good people, man, yeah. they weren't finna let you act a fucking fool out here. You already, know what I'm saying? Already. So, man, people, like, we loved on each other, like, back then, man, as a kid when I was growing up. Bro, man, so I'm I'm from, I'm from Northside Manor, man. You know what I'm saying? Me, Mookie, BG, them, Jimmy Lee, them, Cazelle, them, bro. We we were beach babies, man. We'll walk down there from Northside Manor, bro. Uh, Evelyn, all, all them, Mookie's sister, all, all of us, bro. We'll walk from the, we'll walk from, we'll, we'll either fish or we'll walk down there to the beach, bro, and go to the goddamn beach. Goddamn. Right you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. We'll go down to the Warren Hole. We all nigga. We we'll go out, man. And look, try to go out there on a on a, on a whack ass float, about to die because because the, <laughs> the wave ninety feet high. You know what I'm saying, man? Say yeah. we tripping. <laughs> we project kids, man. We tripping with ourselves. Try to go over and see how far out it can go. Oh man, man. catch one of them high ass currents and big ass waves come in. Turn that little rag ass boat around. Trying to get God back to sea. Damn. Say man, say bro. I'm talking about like like fam. We knew how to. We knew how, look. We'll go to motherfucking me, uh, Waterburger, right? We'll go to Waterburger, nigga. We'll put our change together. You know what I'm saying? A nigga order some motherfucking water, right? We'll order some water. They used to have lemon packages right there. Nigga get about four or five of them lemon packages yeah, yeah, some yeah. sugar. Nigga make some real live lemonade, nigga, and bust that burger and fries down with the homie. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, bro. We, it, it, for me, that was rich. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize it was poor until we got a little older. Like, Hell we niggas yeah. was busting shit down because we had yeah. shit. Hell but yeah. for, for me, it was like we was rich. We was able to take care of each other. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Man, out each other and and like, like, like my partner, Cazelle, man. Cazelle, I ain't gonna lie. He was like one of the realest, one of the realest niggas. Him and Arthur Harvey. These was like two of the realest niggas I know when it came to them having money on them, dog. Because if you was with them, bro. They were gonna break bread. Already, oh, I ain't yeah. gonna bullshit. And these was young niggas with that 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 Arthur gonna go hustle for his at, at a young age. He gonna shine shoes and shit like that at a young age. You know what I'm saying? Cazelle, his daddy was gonna break bread with a nigga. This nigga, you know, you, you tell the nigga that 12 years old, he got 
$375. God nigga, damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, 12 years just to go to the carnival. You know what I'm saying? God Come on, damn. Creole. Nigga, bet. Nigga, I shit. Yeah. Nigga, 10 years old, nigga. He just nigga 12, nigga. We walk down there. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, in the middle of the night, we don't give a fuck. Damn. You know, we project's kids, nigga. We really down there. Like that. No no parents, no nothing. One thing about us, bro, I think, I think like, we always walk in packs. Yeah, yeah, hell know, yeah. As kids. Yeah, you know hell yeah, saying? hell yeah. So, it wasn't like you was going to snatch one of us. Yeah, up. it wasn't like you was walking you know by yourself saying? and no shit like he, that. I'm hell talking about yeah. even as kids, man. You yeah, yeah. We, we projects kids, yeah. man. We, look, man, we, we'll look, we look rough around the goddamn edges, man. You're not going <laughs> to just snatch one of us. You're going to have to fight all of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. you have to fight all of us, man. So you know we'll go to we'll go to the beach like that. We'll go to the carnival like that. Nigga, we go roller skating like that. Yeah, yeah. What was the roller skating rink set back in them days? I know when I, when I was going to we had like city skates. It was and shit it was like a, it was a roller the first roller skate that I remember, bro. It was right here, off of uh, it was on SPID like somewhere between Costores and wherever. Okay, okay. It was a it was a I don't I forgot what it was called. Oh, really? But that's the one that I remember, bro. Oh, really? And when we was young niggas, that's what we used to always go we used to go to skate. I'm talking man and they was having like this was like real live skating shit yeah. back in these days. Oh, like, yeah, the 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 how low can you go to speed <laughs> the, the whole nine, bro. It was it was live, man. It, oh, was, really? it was it was really live, bro. It it was live because like check it out. Check it out. Uh was y'all like meeting people from like other schools and shit like like in them days type shit? Ain't gonna lie, that didn't happen until I went to junior high. Okay, okay, bet, you know what bet, I'm saying? bet. And it, 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 it ain't gonna even say like it. At, when I first got to junior high, I mean the first junior high I went to was Hamlin. I didn't. Uh, it was just that's when I really got to meet a lot of people from the Crest. When okay. I got to Hamlin, like. Because we rode the bus together. Oh, know okay, know okay. That's why I got to be really like a lot of the females from the crest. You know what I'm saying? So we that's why I want to ask you too. Like, because coming from like the south side, like when people said north side back in the day, like I kind of know now, but back in my day, whenever I was younger, when people said north side, to me, the north side meant just the north side, the, side of the north, not north oh, side oh, manner. Oh, yeah. To me, like coming from the south side, and I think a lot of people like coming from like the south, a lot of people like whenever people would say the north side, a lot of people just consider like the north side. The north side of Corpus Christi. So, can you break down like the difference between north side, which I'll consider north side, and then the breakdown of the difference between north side and like Hill Chris? Oh, it, it really, really like. And how did that even become I'm, like? I'm gonna tell you. Look, check this out. I'm, I'm, gonna, like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check this out. I'm check this out. Back in the day, it was north side Manor. They called it the projects, and it, and it was called the Hillcrest, right? We ain't get along with each other, dog. But there was projects inside yeah, of Hillcrest yeah, yeah. too, kind of, right? Well, is no, Dean no, no, Letters considered Hillcrest? No, 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 it was the projects. It was it was de it was then other, and and you had the west side. But the thing about it, it wasn't. We called each other cross town niggas. <laughs> we called each other cross. It was it wasn't no north side, west side. I remember that. It wasn't shit. no side. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? What happened? And this is this is an honest to God true story, bro. I swear to God, it, it, it lightning strike me in the ass right now. This is what <laughs> happened, man. Me and me and me and Baron was rapping against. Winston and Jeff, and that shit got bad. Not uh, rapping, but it got heated out there. Like shit was, you know, like she was like really crazy out there. And uh, Jeff, Jeff started screaming West Side. Oh, okay, okay. West Side, and I started saying North Side. Oh shit! All and, right. I, and man, I don't care what nobody say. That's how that. That's how that shit got separated. Like that, the side of. Like that's how the West and the North. That's how that shit. shit. That's how that shit. All developed, right. you All know right. what I'm saying? That's when that, that shit got set. I, I swear to God, that's the day that it happened. It used to be a club called Oz, right? Uh, you know where the uh, the Moody Me Bar right there on Weber, where the H E B at that that corner little building right yeah. across the street from Weber. Yeah, 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 yeah. used to be a fucking club. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we had we used to go there. You know what I'm saying to the club and shit. And that's that's where that shit happened. But is this in like your teenage years? Whenever y'all yeah, okay, my okay. Years. This is my teenage years. This is like when I'm like thirteen. 
Okay, so I'm yeah, like we we we'll, you know we'll, we'll go we'll go back a little bit. Then we'll get we'll get to that shit for sure. So it's back in when you like I say back in like middle school, junior high shit. Was you into like any like sports or anything like that growing up type shit, or was you already like just out there in the streets type shit? No. Or what, what, like what was you doing like in junior high type shit? I was, I was I was playing I was playing football and just hanging out as a kid with with the, with my pops. I ain't gonna lie, I played basketball, but I wasn't good like BJ and Mookie and all and Lily and Baron and all them niggas, Marvin and Juice. These niggas was playing basketball. I was, <laughs> I was good like them niggas. Man. <laughs> niggas ripping my shit. Now my shot was whack. Niggas chunking my shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I, was, I was like, fuck that. I hit you. I hit one of you niggas. You get on this field. Already. And, and, already. They, and, they, and, and that's what, if, for a little nigga at Miller, that's what I was known for. Okay. You know already, what I'm saying? The little already. dude on the field hitting a nigga here or hitting a nigga there, getting my little five minutes of fame in the game. But, uh, that's what we played baseball, bro. And shit, we we was we was we was we was softball. We was we was live. We went to Georgia two years in a row for playing that shit. And that's you know like with a North Side League yeah, or something like that. Yeah, Dang. for T. Sarris. Oh T-Sarris. shit! And see, see, this was this what was live about that shit, right? This is what was live about that shit, right? Because on this team, this is T. Sarris, right? This is like for kids. It's like neutral ground for us. You okay. know what I'm saying? So you got. Hillcrest kids coming there. You got Dean Leather kids coming there. You got Northside Mountain kids coming there. Yeah. We're playing baseball together on the same team. So we're already establishing relationships by the time we get to junior okay, high. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Already. So we already, you know, these niggas, some of these brothers to this day are like brothers. You know what I'm saying? Already. Family, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stuff like that. And females and all that, you know. So those, those relationships were being established at an early age like that. The summer basketball leagues. And so stuff the TC like Air Center kind of like brought everybody kind of yeah, almost it was like. A, look, look, man. For us, like what was what was what was really like neutral ground. You know what I'm saying? Was like Hillcrest Park and the slab. Already. You know what I'm saying? That that that, that strip right there that's, that that was in the projects. You know what I'm saying? And and Dean Leather that strip right there that was neutral, that was neutral ground for like everybody to come and enjoy themselves. You Already. know what I'm saying? I mean, shit did pop off sometimes, but for majority of the time it didn't. You Already. know what I'm saying? You got niggas about they the they baddest ride down there. The baddest females was out. Whoever was doing whoever was doing was out. You know what I'm saying? The, the 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 next the next the ones that was next up was yeah. out you know so what I'm uh, Hillcrest Park would almost be considered as like hitting ML equivalent to hitting MLK on a Sunday in Houston oh, type most shit. definitely okay. most definitely Bet. most most definitely I'm talking about bro look look man I'm talking <laughs> look man I'm talking about cars cars on top of the grass packed all the way from here to there you know what I'm saying. You got to get out way over here just to walk into the park. Yeah, bro. hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah, yeah. God it was God. live, and I'm talking about basketball court looked like the Ruckers. God damn. Basketball court looked like the Ruckers, man. They balling out there already. God you know, damn. say that. I don't care. No, the most legendary side that will. I don't care what nobody else in the in the history court. The most legendary side will always be North Side. Well, team, I got, I got, I've read books and, and stuff like this, and I think a lot of people don't know that a lot of people, like a lot of black folks, not a lot of people, a lot of black folks think like, oh, I'm from the south, or my people's from the south, but all black folks in Corpus, if your family originates from Corpus, they they all come they, from the north no, side, the north side to, of Corpus and they chose Christi. To migrate out. Like my 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 peoples came from Marlin, Texas, and when they came from Marlin, my granny, they came, my great granny them and my granny them, they came from Marlin, Texas, and when they came from Marlin, Texas, they lived. In Hillcrest, and, yeah. D- and not even in Hillcrest, they lived in DN Leathers, and then yeah. they moved to Hillcrest. Yeah. They lived in DN Leathers. When my, when my, when my pops them came from Bastrop, my mom them came from Robs. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They came right to the north. Yeah, side. least yeah. people that adopted me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they came right to the north. Side. Yeah, for you know sure. What I'm for sure. And, 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 and like I'm telling you, bro, some of the most legendary niggas in your hood on the other side come from there. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. From the other side, they come from there. Hell they yeah. just left as kids. Yeah, hell yeah. They was bad as fuck when we was running together. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm talking about my partners that moved, but may I move to the West. Already. Nigga, legendary names. Already. You know Already. what I'm saying? Really, really from there. Already. Really from there. Hell yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah. So when when do y'all start making music? Are y'all making music in junior high? Or do y'all start making music like in high school? And who are you making music with whenever you first start making music? I, I mean, and now y'all just fucking around, dibbling, dabbling, or from day one, my, y'all like like y'all see somebody else doing it, and I y'all see, like I we seen, trying to. I do. seen, I seen, I seen, I seen. Uh, I went to a Miller dance, dog. I think it was a homecoming. 
It was the Ron, it was a group called the Ron Wizards, and I don't know what Patrick Bell feel now. So what's this like, like late eighties type shit? Already? No, 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 no. Early nineties? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. This wasn't no late eighties. This was, this was like the mid eighties. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying, like, like mid eighties. Okay, like, bet. This was like, like eighty five. Already? Already? Shit like that. Already? Like, it was, it was Baron. On, in this one, the Ron Wizards was Baron, Robert Wood, and Chris Lewis. And over here, it was like Patrick Belfield, Kenneth Lee. And uh, Jimmy Gale, you know what I'm saying? And say, I didn't know we could do this shit. Not really. Them niggas, Jimmy Gale and them, them niggas was harmonizing and everything. I'm talking about, like, man, look, what what, what these niggas doing today, I, them niggas did it back <laughs> then, man. And them niggas did it back then. Not Jimmy really. them did that shit back then. Them <laughs> niggas was rapping it then. But, man, look, and, and I'm watching Baron them with the... Kennedy Lee beatboxing and, 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 uh, and uh, Chris Lewis beatboxing. I was like, I was amazed, bro. I went and wrote my first fucking rap. Man. Damn. And then my relative had came down from Dallas. Already. You know what I'm saying? And we was going to house. We were going to house together in eighth grade. And I had wrote my rap. And I didn't know. And him and his, him and his partner was rapping. You know what I'm saying? And I had spit this little rhyme for him. So they like put me in their little group. You know what I'm saying? And. Then it was just me and him. We had did a few little things for Joe Green. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man, we, had man, did, man. we had did a few little little rap things for Joe Green. Oh, and, really? we, and eventually we had rap for Baron. Was this before Joe Green was doing the dancing oh, thing? No, 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 no. This was after. Okay, he was already, okay. He was already that nigga. Already, yeah, yeah, already that nigga. so then he started like doing some thing with like rappers and y'all yeah, were like a couple yeah, of yeah, guys yeah, that he started yeah, fucking yeah. with type shit. Yeah, he was, while they would be dancing, you know, me and Adrian the rap. Oh shit! Already, you know already. So, Damn, so, that's uh, what's up. <laughs> so, uh, so we rapped for Baron one day, man. You know what I'm saying? And it was a nigga from the West Side named AJ. Nigga was water. Nigga was like a LL Cool J. Nigga, <laughs> nigga was a wizard with them words. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? He was, he was, he's a, he was a rich, he was like, man, these <laughs> niggas y'all don't know about the real forefathers. Oh, really? The real, real forefathers. Oh, nigga, really? You know God what I'm damn, hell yeah. And, uh, he was like, man, AJ, listen to these two niggas right here. And we was on the slab. You know what I'm saying? And we and, and me and me, uh uh Adrian Rap, we had we had the back and forth. Oh, you really? know what I'm saying? So Baron put us down with him. Baron would write the write majority of the raps, right? But he would give them to us in bits and pieces. And nigga, you I'm talking about you got three niggas going in and out on your ass. Nigga, Damn. this was this wasn't I'm talking about my nigga, we were live. Oh, really? This was this was this, and this is what this is why and my, my relative eventually went to uh went back to Dallas. So it was left with me and Baron. Okay. And we had this back and forth. And this is all before the North Side West Side shit happened. Damn. All right. All right. Okay, hell yeah. And me and Baron had this back and forth, bro, that like my nigga, everybody be trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we in and out on your ass. So at this time, y'all are just basically doing shit in the hood type shit before? Yeah. Okay, yeah, bet, yeah. bet. We already recording Okay, everything. bet, bet. Hell we're, yeah. Chris, say, we had, we had, say, man, we were some little roguish motherfuckers, dog. We <laughs> steal everything. Majority of all our equipment, bro, we stole that shit out of Radio Shack. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it was a little miniature. Big box, <laughs> a, a tinker table, a fucking, uh, God dang, God damn motherfucking me. Keyboard, nigga. nigga I was still out, nigga. I was still at Walt Disney Records, nigga. And anything, bro. I mean, we, man, look, bro, we poor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This is, okay, this is, this, this, is, this is the age I know I'm poor now. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? This is the age I know I'm poor now. My mama passed away. Shit real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This is the age yeah. I know I'm poor now, Already. but you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. And, uh, say, man, and, and, and Chris, Chris was already. Making beats, we already had a DJ. Bobby was our DJ, the coldest fucking DJ in the city. We do all the parties and shit, and we was already recording ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? We was already recording ourselves at a young age. I'm talking about 13, 14. We already recording our age. I mean, uh, recording at a young age, man. We were, we were, we were, uh, we were like, if, if it was a boy. See what what I like about back then, bro. When when it came to this rap shit, nigga, if you they didn't, if the motherfuckers knew you was some rappers, nigga, and you walked in the club, nigga, they made sure you rapped. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They made sure they got at least a song got y'all, Already. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or they throw y'all shit on and give you the mic so you can yada yada do y'all shit. Yeah, yeah, man. So that's how me and Baron 
got popular, man, because every time it was something like me and Baron, nigga, we we wrote so much music, my nigga. It be a block party, nigga. We'll get right there, nigga, and go to rapping, and niggas are coming, but. One thing who liked the niggas rap was them female. I ain't gonna lie, that's why I was doing it. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because shit, it was attracting a lot of females. Yeah, a lot yeah. of females like fucking with a nigga. Not even on on a level of just trying to knock knock the bitch down. Yeah. But the the friendship. Yeah. And yeah, shit yeah, like yeah, that. You yeah, was yeah. meeting this homegirl. That shit that niggas still friends today just because a nigga was rapping. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit, yeah. nigga, me and Lily, like his brother, his brother was a clown. Baron brother was a clown. Lily. And me and this nigga, we used to, bro, we used to stand in front of the motherfucking dollar movie. We yeah. stand in front of the dollar movie and freestyle for bitches. And them hoes just give us like $2 here, <laughs> $3 here, or a dollar here. God damn. Say, say, kid, I swear to God, bro. I God swear to God, damn. my nigga. We'll work the ass. We'll work the ass for about $45, nigga. God and damn. say, with that $45, get what we going to do. We're going to get us a 20 sack of weed. Nigga in a in a in a in a, in a, uh, a little case of beer, and, that, and it's up. Oh, really? It's up. Say that was our hustle. God damn. That was our. It, it never say we never lost. Me and Lily never lost at that. God damn. We do it every every week. Go right there and free. As soon as the look the little females. See, when I got the house, when I got the house already. That. So how do you end up coming from the north to the south to end up at like? No, I'm still on. I'm still on the north. Oh, okay. I just, I just, I didn't go to Whistle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't go to Whistle. I, 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 you know, I, I went to the house. God I trans- Look, let me tell you how mad the was, dog. <laughs> like when my mama died, shit was real. You dig know what I'm saying, bro? I wrote. I went. I, look, man. I went. I'm, I'm Twelve years old, nigga. Yeah. I went down to the school board. Went and got a transfer slip. <laughs> went to the crib, filled that bitch out, and took that hoe back down. Forged that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nigga, every year. Look, look, bro. From 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 junior high to high school to like graduate. I mean, I ain't graduate, but to, but all my so you school finish, yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I signed my own shit. Damn. <laughs> it, for, for, I swear to God. I went to I went to Hamlin in the house because I went down there and got that motherfucking paper God and damn. filled that bitch out. <laughs> My dad ain't send me to Hamlin. <laughs> My dad ain't send me to house. God Come on, damn. dog. No side matter. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You did. You feel me? Yeah. No side matter. <laughs> Shit, nigga. That's what say. I'm telling you when I when I went. To, that's what like that that introduced me to like majority of everybody from the crest. Already. You know what I'm saying? Going to house in Hamlin. Already. But when I got the house, it was it it, it, it introduced me to another way of life, man. That's what I was gonna say too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It, it it really introduced me to another way of life because shit, a nigga was was seeing was seeing some things out there. You know what I'm saying? That was that wasn't in the hood no more. Yeah, hell yeah. You did yeah. what I'm saying? So. So what was like the uh? I ain't gonna say really say the culture shock or whatever, but what was like the I, I guess like going over there to school in the hood. Obviously, you're gonna be going to school with a bunch of black kids and a bunch of Mexican kids. And White girls liking niggas. Going to houses, probably Dude, a bunch of that majority was the like culture shock. White girls liking niggas, and at that time, how fucking taboo it was, bro. Already. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, bro. We just, we just, fam. We just in, we just in junior. I mean, junior high, man. Yeah. We were about 12, 13 <coughs> years old. And you know, you don't even see and, and white, white girls in the hood abundance. type shit. Yeah, and white girls in abundance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. like that. Or, or 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 how could I say this? Sophisticated Mexican girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With a with a little you can't just touch me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You just can't talk to me like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you know, nigga, you gotta bring carnations over her. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? It was, it was a little different. Even with the even like even with like when I when I got to the when I got to house, this is where I got to meet the West Side girls. Oh really? And, and like my partners from the west side. Oh really? You know what I'm saying? This a, a lot of them went went to house. You know oh, what really? I'm saying? So, so even 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 like with back then, even with a, with a, like a north side nigga dealing with a west side girl, it was it was even different. You know oh, what I'm really? saying? God damn. So what 
So you go to like what happening in like what seventh grade and then Houston like eighth grade type shit. I went to I went to Hamlin in the seventh grade. I went to house in the eighth and ninth. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, yeah. and, and, and shit, I really I really liked them. I, I really did. I, I liked it out there, man. You know what I'm saying? I uh. What you catching the bus out there every day? Uh huh. They had they had a, they, now they had a bus that come through. Oh shit! They had a school bus that come through. You Already. know what I'm saying? Shit. God damn. Shit. I ain't gonna lie, nigga. If that's where kind of going to house in Hamlin is where nigga kind of learned to dress. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna lie, like, like the like when niggas was coming out of Hillcrest, going when we was going to school. Yeah. Them niggas wasn't bummy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them niggas wasn't bummy. I'm from Northside Manor, nigga. I ain't got it like that. Yeah. But them niggas wasn't bummy. And say, you know, black folk, you know us. We got jokes. Yeah, so hell, yeah, yeah. Think about it. I'm from Northside Manor. My skin tough as fuck. <laughs> we, this is what we do. We all poor. So, so these jokes, man, you ain't said nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, yeah. we can do this all day. So, but, but yeah, hey, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how much I love this that area so much as a, as a, as a kid when I started moving, like, hey, going from Northside Manor, hanging in the projects and hanging in the Hillcrest. When I, when I would walk, get up to the hill. And I, I would see the houses in Hillcrest. I thought that's where we were supposed to make it to. Already. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. I did, I, did, I, I could pass by Ocean Drive. I, we used to drive past by Ocean Drive. We used to uh, uh, pass it by the nice neighborhoods. But I never aspired. And, and I, don't, I don't want nobody to say, like, I wasn't thinking big. Yeah. It was bigger than mansions and shit to me. It was about the community. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I, I was like, man, if a nigga make it to Hillcrest, bro, I won. I oh, hit the lottery because I'm from Northside Manor. All all my partners, all my all all, all, all the niggas that you know, with the, with the Nikes on and in 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 the, 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 the motherfucking polo on and, and and it's a few of us in in the in the north side in the projects but everybody else they come out to crash already you know what i'm saying i didn't have to go i nigga i ain't have to be a spy be no i just it's in my neighborhood <laughs> you dig what i'm saying yeah. it's out the crash man you know Hell what i'm yeah. saying so shit that's why i like when i was a kid i like shit i'm talking about nigga this was like i'm i'm, I'm 13 14 this is what i want to do you already. know what i'm saying at that you know still with that mentality i didn't give a fuck that's I, it, it was the it was the crest of nothing until crack hit. That's what you know I was what about to say. So when does crack, crack does crack hit when you in high school or crack hits when you're still in junior high? That you remember it. I was in I was in high school. Already. I was in the tenth grade. It was, I just got to high school. Already. I just got to high school, man. And like Bro. Like this is when black people lost their cool. Like them seventies, my nigga, and because I'm I born in seventy two, my nigga. Believe me, I remember seventy seven. Oh, I remember really? seventy eight. I remember seventy nine, nigga. Oh, I remember really? eighty. I remember eighty one. Uh, yeah, I do. Already, oh, I do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My mama tell you. My biological mama tell you that this nigga remembers everything. But I do. And, and in that era, my nigga, these were the coolest black people, even Mexican people, white people. Every, these was the coolest era of motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? For me, that I seen with my witness and my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Shit, nigga, people stayed where they were supposed You know, people stayed where they was at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't get into no shit with nobody else. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was enjoying their people. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? So, so like, what was the question again? Like when when uh when crack first oh, hits like so like oh yeah 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 when when that shit came in man like you seen you seen some of the niggas some of the best mothers top notch top notch women it's a scum dog you seen some of the realest niggas best fathers hard working men shit like that it's a scum dog Damn. you know what I'm saying and I'm talking about like. But I ain't on a lie. On another note, it was a lot of us that was poor, bro. I seen a lot of my my little young partners, man, get in where they fit in. Yeah, I'm talking about at an early age, bro. Yeah, and were able to take care of them. I'm talking about, look, man, I I got I got little homeboys, man. I don't I don't want, I ain't gonna be saying nobody name because they grown and stuff like that. I always feel like if you say a nigga name, you know how they be talking like on the podcast, they be. Saying such and such and such, such. Yeah. I, I mean, I, it's like snitching to me. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and then, I mean, not even just that, 
If that shit ain't on, on record, if they ain't told yeah, the world, they ain't told bro, it, yeah, I don't want to yeah, be the yeah, one to yeah, say the shit yeah, first. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm sure, saying? But sure. like, I had partners, man. Like, I'm still staying with my mom and dad. I mean, I mean, my uh, my my dad and my brothers and them at, at, at 13, 14, and 15. These niggas got their own apartments. Damn. They niggas got their own house. It's about three of them in there. Damn. But they got their own house, man. And they trapping that crack already? And yeah. But they nigga, they was poor as fuck. God damn. They was poor as fuck, nigga. <laughs> they poor as fuck, nigga. God damn. They and they already and nigga, I, I'm 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 still let my I'm I'm in I'm in high school. These niggas already got their own apartment. These niggas already driving cars. God damn. So it, it did man. It what it was what it was, you know what I'm saying? But nigga, I said, man, look, I know one thing, bro. Was boys in high school like selling dope and shit, like show, man. like you noticing, like, oh, damn, nigga, you kind of not say bummy, but damn, how you you dressing way different you, that, this year than you were last year? That's how you move. <laughs> that's how you say say, man. Miller changed the culture, the school culture, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Already, Miller, say man, we changed the. They had to change the dress code and everything because the way boys was coming to school, man. God damn. What they with, with the shit that was on the hats, niggas coming in a uh, class with beepers and shit. Beepers going off, <laughs> niggas leaving class. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, man. God damn. Niggas 19, 18, 19 riding around in Regals and and, and, and motherfucking uh, Run DMC chains, niggas and <laughs> niggas silks, niggas. Yeah, that shit changed the life of a lot of young niggas, bro. That God was poor damn. as fuck. God damn, hell yeah. Let's talk about like some of like like uh going to Miller, like shit like fucking the football team and like uh at what age do you like me like fat man and all them type shit? Man, man, fat look, man, 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 fat man got a crazy history, dog. <laughs> man, fat man got like a crazy history with each other, right? Like uh Man, I had my nigga, my nigga, uh, and, and this is on record, so I can say this shit, right? Already. You know what I'm saying? This is on record, you know what I'm saying? My nigga, uh, uh, Pat, Pat Kosak got into it with this essay, man, at school, man. And these, it's some, and they some brothers, man. These motherfuckers are tall, dog. They, you know, they, these Mexican dudes were phenomenal, phenomenal tall. You know what I'm saying? Like, these <laughs> were phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? You just don't see three brothers this fucking tall. You know what I'm saying? Three Mexican brothers this fucking tall, nigga. Ain't now one of them niggas under 6'3". You dig me? And, and the oldest one, nigga, he... He, he got some weight because he, behind him because he's a gorilla on the football field. He, he didn't already graduated. But anyway, right? So, Pat get into it with this nigga. Come find out my nigga was in the wrong. Pat get into it with this nigga, right? And, man, I do some dumb shit. I, I spit on the dude. I did. I was wrong. I did wrong for that shit because I ain't gonna lie. Nigga, you, man, you, nigga spit on me. I'm gonna try to kill you, bro. Yeah, Bottom yeah, line. Yeah. You spit on me, I'm gonna try to kill you. I'm do everything. And I, I got I got I got I got one foot on 50 at a bad back. I can't beat you up, dog. And if <laughs> I find out, nigga, you can't fight, I'm gonna whoop your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? So I I I just can't I can't I can't uh what was the question again? No, you said that uh uh was it Jay Patrick Coast or Patrick Terry? Oh, I, I mean no uh, no no it was, it was, it was I said how you like I it, it, like I fat man you say submit, yeah I the, spit on the motherfucking dude, man. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was whack. That shit was whack, dog. That shit was really whack. I regret that shit to today. Like for real. And uh nigga didn't take that shit lightly. <laughs> shit, you take that shit lightly. <laughs> say I'm I'm leaving, I'm leaving the I'm leaving, I'm walking, I'm walking. Dominique and them, Dominique and them mama, to the bus stop. That was my girlfriend in high school. Already, you know I'm, I'm walking up to the bus stop. Say where the where the butter crust was at right there. I hear somebody say, "Hey, Creon." <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Creon, what was that? What was what, what was that with my brother? <laughs> nigga, I looked over there, and it was all three of them. <laughs> nigga, ain't hey, man, I'm, I've been I've been the same height since the eighth grade, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I've been the same height since the eighth grade, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, them niggas come. The, the, we are we in SBS at this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. These bearing them, all these niggas is down by the motherfucking me. Cafeteria. Nigga. Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, these niggas is just slowly walking, you know, across the what's the day, coming to me. 
I'm whistling. Nigga! Get over here! Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Niggas get over here. So, but them niggas, them niggas coming, them niggas running, right? So, uh, me and the middle brother fighting like a motherfucker, man. Say, man. Say, man, this Mexican hit me so motherfucking hard, it felt like my whole head spent around. <laughs> and I looked at that nigga, and that bitch spent right back around. <laughs> Say, bro. God Say, damn. man, that motherfucker hit me hard in the bitch. But I was, I was playing football. I was a little strong nigga. We was fighting like a motherfucker, oh, right? Really? So, but, so uh, boom, the whole, the whole squad get down there, right? Nigga, the older brother, the nigga got a 12-speed. Nigga got the 12 speed holding it by the middle. What's the name? Swinging it at the whole clique. Nigga, like that. Nigga, big, man. Just swinging it at these niggas like that. Back up. Back up. Back up. Man, this nigga, we done kind of broke up the fighting. I walk around the motherfucking wood fence right there. The park yeah. I walk around. It was a wood fence right there. And bumping the fat man. Boom. Bumping in there. I say, nigga, you got anything sharp on you? <laughs> this nigga had like a thousand pins and pencils in his fucking pocket. <laughs> Pocket like a fucking nerd. <laughs> Pip had all the motherfucking shit. <laughs> nigga, I grabbed them hoes. I grabbed, I, tell me, man, I grabbed them hoes out that nigga shirt. Came around the corner. I said, hey, that dude turned around. I, boom, I just saw him. Tearing ass off the bone. You know what God. I'm saying? But, man, that shit, that's how me, that's how me and Pat, that was like our first introduction, in, introduction with each other. You was coming from Driscoll. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? I, nigga, that shit, that shit, that was crazy. Yeah. And well, man, you know what's so even even worse about that situation? This is why one of the reasons I regretted that motherfucker so much. Me and that dude wanted up working together. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? We were we're both we're, we're both his girl was pregnant, my girl was pregnant, and we both working at Denny's. Shit was crazy, man. Yeah, and I was just yeah. like, man, God crazy than a mug. Cause <laughs> say, believe me, man, if that he could have did what he, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he wanted to do was justifiable, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and he ain't he ain't he ain't fuck a nigga off or shit, nothing like that. And this is when like nigga, we was on that bang and shit for real. No, you know really, what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. nigga, we were first generation. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So how does that start? Like the NSB type, I mean the uh the uh, North Side Bomb Squad. Like how does that end up starting? Just on man, is that when y'all in uh, junior high still? Y'all started no, kind of no, like we're, high we're in high school. That was that was at, that was at Miller. Man. And was that more of just like what was that like some like rappers? Boys. Was it we're, some street niggas? We're, like what? We're, like, see, this is what this is what this is what like really man. It was a, we had a song called NSBS. Oh really? You know what I'm saying? It. Richard was by himself. I had a uh, I had a partner named my my relative Storm. You know what I'm saying? And me and Baron, we were the deaf MCs. You know what I'm saying? Me and Baron were the deaf MCs, but we had a song called NSBS, North Side Bomb Squad. That was the click. Yeah. That was our click. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, nigga, we wasn't like, like I say, everybody poor, bro. Nigga, we trade, we share clothes, nigga. We share shirts, nigga. We share shoes, nigga. The only thing we ain't sharing is drawers and socks, nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, we yeah. eat over here. We eat over there. A nigga spend the night over yeah. here. A nigga mama getting beat. He don't know what the fuck to do. You come spend the night yeah, over here, yeah, yeah. nigga. I'm talking about nigga. We, this 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 little brotherhood was for real, dog. I'm talking about that motherfucking real, my nigga. This little brother. This little this little brotherhood was real, and that's how that shit started. It was, we ain't never like depicted this shit to be no motherfucking game, but like. That's what it eventually boiled it boiled down into. Look, it was a it was a crib nigga named Papa G, came from uh, California. He owned some property in Hillcrest. He's like an old nigga. He was around y'all. He was no, nah, he was older than us. Okay, he was a few years older than us. Man. Already, yeah, and he owned some property in Hillcrest, man. And uh, he took a liking to us, right? He took a liking to us, and uh, one day. I think with Jimmy Lee and Ernie Hope was slap boxing. It was one night. We was in Northside Mountain. It was slap boxing. That slap boxing hard, but that's how we played. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That nigga popped his trunk and tried to give Jimmy Lee the uh, the Uzi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Baron was like, "No, nigga, what is you doing? You tripping, nigga? Like, yeah. no, nah, what is you doing? Like, nigga, nigga what's he like, man? What's, what's up with that shit? Because I, yeah. I think he knew. Because I think he was familiar with Ernie, but not Jimmy Lee." He was familiar with Ernie, not Jimmy Lee. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? And uh, like, nah, I mean, that, that's that's the that's the homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so the nigga wanted us to uh become Crips. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, we're like, nah, we don't do that over here, bro. It's an SBS. Ain't nobody banging. Ain't no colors flying over here. We used to wear black and gray. Oh, really? We had black and gray flags. Like, ain't no other colors flying over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that was like, nigga was saying, ain't no other colors flying over here. You know what I'm saying? But that's what it was. Yeah. We're like, we're like, no, no, no. We ain't banging nothing over. We ain't doing nobody else shit. You know what I'm saying? This, this yeah. is us. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we, that's what we were just, we just a little, little group of niggas. You know what I'm saying? That was that was really like that was really like brothers, brother. I I was I played varsity football, bro. I be on the football field with my flag on. Oh shit! Real shit. Right, fly down my neck. <laughs> on kickoff. God you know what damn. I'm saying? Yeah, this nigga, this is this is factual, actual factual, nigga. God yeah. damn. But but that's what it that's what it was, and man, and we kind of we 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 stuck to the script until you know when 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 brother started getting into the game. Of things, yeah. you know what I'm saying. The game. That's when we kind of start going our ways. You know what I'm Already. saying. But uh, but for the most part, man, it wasn't. It wasn't none of that shit. It wasn't none of that shit. It wasn't none of that shit. Shit. We made a. We made a crib nigga ride. At that <laughs> time, yes. Yeah, swear to God, he came down. I won't say that nigga name shit like that, but he had came down here. You know what I'm saying. Them niggas with that nigga. That nigga used to talk that Hoover. That Hoover shit at that time. You know what I'm saying. And uh. They uh, they uh, shit. Them niggas just whooped that nigga ass every day until that nigga rode. You know what I'm saying? He, he until he was riding with us. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was it was and it wasn't even the fact that it was just like, bro, we you're not gonna do that over here. Hell yeah. You're not, you're not gonna be, you ain't gonna come out the house and with all that shit. Whoop, yeah, and hell all yeah. That. It wasn't gonna be none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you know they they had a uh, they had a they had a they had a news report. It was we made the news and everything. It was talking about the games in Corpus Christi. You know what I'm saying? Talking yeah. about it, you know, we made this this, this little set here made the news. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? As the the most official one. Oh, you know really? what I'm saying? Cause like, bro, it was like, it was like this, bro. Like, they be like, that's NSBS. Kids be like, we in SBS. The Damn. Young Bucks. Okay. You know what I'm saying, yeah, and, and yeah. you ain't you ain't even official or nothing, but you just you just got it. You just you know what I'm saying, yeah, like just, like nigga, they gonna they gonna rep this north side. Yeah, hell they're gonna yeah. rep it. You know what I'm saying, this 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 part of town, like for real. Hell yeah, they gonna rep it. You know what I'm saying. So it it was it was it was it was, it, was, it was like that. It was like that. Like I, I one time. Hill Crescent, like Hill, I think Hill Crescent and the projects really did. One time, man, and I don't think everybody remember this, man. One time, like, it, we was at, we was at, it was a club. I think it was called Body Rock on the west side. It, 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 it Hill Crest and, and North Side niggas got into a fight with some Inferio niggas. And ever since that day, bro, it was just like. It was like we was all like officially this is north side. Oh really? Like if we say what side of town. Yeah. Like the north. You know okay, what I'm okay, bet. It's still <clears throat> north side manor. It's still Jen Leather. Already in Hill Street, all that. It's still cause I re- I rep I rep a street in each mother each one of the motherfuckers. I stayed on them hoes. <laughs> oh, I stayed yeah. I stayed nigga, I stayed on Hubbard, I stayed on Town in the Oasis, nigga, and I and I stayed on Chapito, nigga, and I and them my streets. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> so yeah. And uh, I think I think for me for myself for myself when I first should have seen it like the side was like yeah we all really good like we was all fucking with each other because a lot of us was really fucking with each other but it was just you know we still had that kind of like little edge to a nigga oh them north side niggas them yeah, hell, niggas, yeah. shit like that hell, you know yeah. what I'm saying but <clears throat> I always had I always had a good a little a little love, a lot a lot of love from niggas from uh from from the crest because I think I established that relationship by going to house yeah and hell, hell yeah hell, you know yeah. what I'm saying and. And and walking walking through the community through, during the daytime <laughs> <laughs> God damn. With, some, with, with more than two or three niggas, you know uh, what I'm really? saying? Okay, do you remember like any like big shows coming to Corpus like back in the day, opening up for any shows that big talent that came to Corpus, anything like that? Like for me, the the first. Big show like when Bear, Bear, my partners got locked up, right? They wound up doing some things and wound up getting locked up. So when it, it was left, the rap, 
So the rapping was left with me and Richard, my essay partner, you know what I'm saying? It was me and him. And Havo G used to be our manager. Mm. Havo G used to be our manager. They had this card, bro, with, with, with Sex Fiends, uh, uh, man, Sex Fiends, UGK. It was like, it was like, it was like, bro, it was like about nine groups. UGK was the, the head line, right? Havo G, the day of the show, Havo G went there. You talking to the mic over there. Yeah, my bad, my bad. The, the, the day of the head, the day, the day of the show, Havo G, Went there and, and begged them dudes, say, man, let me play this tape for you. Just let me play this tape. Five minutes, I mean, give me five minutes of your time or something like that, man. When, when, uh, when old boy heard that tape, we were the second to the last. He put us before. I, and say, all these dudes, this is like when, when rapping, Start coming out of Houston, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The Ghetto Boys was already out, but this is when everybody started following suit. You know what I'm saying? Choice and all these, you know what I'm saying? These females, Choice and all, all these uh, other rappers, man. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember everybody's name because it's so long time ago, and we done been through so many rap, yeah, rap yeah, things. Yeah. But man, this like first generation, like one of my favorite groups was Sex Fiend. But uh, but uh, man, they put us. Right before UGK, you know what I'm saying? And, P and Pimp C actually had an interest in my essay partner. He was like, man, who was that mess with? You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? So, we, 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 that was, that was, as time went by. Yeah. And to think who it was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah, to yeah. Joe, that was, that's big for me. Because they wasn't the UGK who they was, basically, yeah. in the later then, years. But like check shit. this out. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? When I stopped rapping with Richard and eventually started rapping with Fat Man, you know what I'm saying? Tell us, hold on, before you, before you get to the story with, with Fat Man, tell us it was rapping with Fat Man. What the, the beauty pageant story is that before rapping with Fat Man or that's yeah after? no that's way that's way before I was still a, I was still a youngster okay yeah you know I want to tell, tell the beauty pageant story well, you know, <laughs> well my part like I say my partner left and I had to I had to rap by so myself. somebody hit y'all up and say there's a black beauty pageant in Corpus do y'all want to perform type shit or y'all got got just basically got put on yeah okay like that all you right know what I'm saying? well J James King who was a DJ one of the most popular DJs here at the time too like around the hoods and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. I think he the one who got the show for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, he was out. I think James was trying to manage us and get us stuff like that. Already. It uh, they got us on that show. Now, mind you, we go through the back. We don't see. I don't see these people. I don't know who's out there. <laughs> I don't know who out there. Baron really is the nigga. Yeah. Like, I can rap, but this nigga can rap. You know what I'm saying? Chris beatbox, you know what I'm saying? Of course, we got our DJ. I think James is DJing or whatever, whatnot. And uh, and I'm rapping my ass off. Like I said, I do my little two songs and shit, right? Man, when we come from backstage, and you know, we close it out. Oh, really? We close it out. When we come from backstage, bro, and they let us out the, the door. Bro, when I tell you, everybody from school and and motherfuckers ain't knowing if they was all right there in the hallway waiting for us like yeah, yeah. i like man Creole, we didn't know you rapped it was yeah, yeah. crazy it was crazy man everybody i mean that shit that was wild that shit that was wild and i ain't gonna lie that's when i became popular as a kid oh, really? like i was popular with my like in my neighborhood like in north side manor with yeah. my little partners but i think that moment right there outside of North Side Mountain in that area going on to the west side, yeah. I became popular. Okay, what was you, know you know what rapping? What was your rap name back then? Kid Creek. Already. God damn. Okay, then you go back uh, to whenever you say you end up linking up with Fat Man and y'all ends up starting rapping, doing music together. What well, like when in, in Pimp seeing them early 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 stages, man, you know what I'm saying? We would always get he would always call us for a show. Already. When when they came down to perform, he called Fat Man and they'll come get me. Already. You know what I'm saying? So, that 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 was a. I I eventually had the opportunity to perform, perform with them more than once when they would come down here. You know what I'm saying? Damn. So so that was always that was always a blessing in that. You know what I'm saying? That's before like 
you know, to her, to us from day one, it was Pimp C. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for the world, it was diff- it's different. You know what I'm saying? And and this was before it was for the world. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So, in the early stages. Yeah, in the shit. early stages. Yeah. And what I used to like about then, see, man, the, the, the North was so live, bro. Like, we had a spot called the Players Club, right? And the Players Club... Had a little stage and that stuff, and, and, and Big Fred used to bring like all the under underground artists there okay. from Houston, Klondike Cats oh, and shit. all these. Just Damn. you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, man, just everybody from that little era right like there, Point you know, Blank and all that, yeah, and all yeah, them yeah. shit. That's where small town killers come from because oh, them niggas yeah. was spending time down here. Okay, you know what I'm saying on the north. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was spending time down here. Them niggas actually liked it down here. Okay, you know what I'm saying because. A nigga kind of get away from the violence and the shit of Houston. And what was the Players Club located in? On the block. Okay. Bad, on, bad. on the block. All right. North, on the north side where, where Creases and all that, 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 that area for, that area on the streets. Yeah. Was located on the streets. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Where, where we used to be lit up at back yeah, in the yeah, day yeah, type yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Man, hell yeah, hell yeah. It's called the Players Club. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. So, we always, we always got the, for us, like, that's why I like, it's crazy, like, Northside niggas, we don't get enthused around them niggas. And, and I'm talking about, like, celebrity status type niggas because, yeah. man, at a young age, we was already being around these type of individuals, like, with esta- established relationships or, like, kind of, like, friendships or just dealing with these dudes so much on average that they're around that, like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. The niggas still out here getting it, too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas is still out here getting it too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I never, even when like me, me and uh, Al was hanging around. You know what I'm saying? Al D was hanging around, and and uh, I, I had I had the pleasure of being around Screw or or going to the studio and all these different things with Al. Man, I never felt like I was somewhere beyond me. Already. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. I've never felt like that. Like, yeah. like man, I'm, I, I'm from the bottom of the bottom, like, for real. I'm from Northside Manor, like, really, nigga, the bottom of the bottom, nigga. When I got mine, it was meant for me. You dig what I'm saying? When my time came, it was meant for me. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. I, and ain't never once in my life, nigga, I ain't never thought I wasn't that nigga. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell and yeah. understand what I'm saying. I'm like, I'm not talking about, like, in a sense that where I'm arrogant, no, you know no, you saying? just know who ain't, you are. Ain't, ain't, ain't yeah. never, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You Hell could, yeah. you could, you couldn't say too much. Only thing you could, you could, you could probably hurt me was when my mama passed away when I was young. You said something about her. That shit would hurt me. But I had grew up with my daddy so much, been with my dad so much. That shit faded away. Nigga, I talk about your mama. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? So it, yeah. it, 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 it didn't bother me. That shit didn't bother me no more. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. But like, nigga, my aunt, my aunties them always told me I was handsome. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? I, so, a bitch will be lying, she tell you, nigga, you dig <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My mama told me, nigga, so you lying, bitch, your words don't outweigh my mama words, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, I ain't never, like, I ain't never had that, that, like, that part of, uh, uh. Having to worry type Having to shit. worry about yeah, yeah. shit or just being around individuals and thinking they was bigger than me. I, I'm telling you, bro, yeah. I was more influenced, like, not influenced, but, like, I like the niggas that I I was around in the hood more than anything else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because really? nigga, we get it too. Hell yeah. And that was all my always my mentality. Nigga get it too. Hell yeah. I want to ask that uh, you was talking about uh, point blank and like Klondike Cat and them coming like to Corpus back in the day at the Players Club. Uh, on the small town song which you have brought up, Point Blank has a line where he says uh, he talks about Northside Manor. He says. Even when five O's bust, niggas bust back. Do you know where that line originates from? Was yeah. there a shootout in Northside Manor, or something with the laws and somebody back in the day or some shit that you can well, recall well, of that, or some well, shit? Well, well, that's 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 yeah, nigga, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Growing growing up there, yo, many a times, and, and, and majority of the times, it happened in that slab area. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Because boys was always able to get away. It, shit, one of my one of one of my partners shot at the law. Damn. I'm talking about shot at that nigga. God you know damn. what I'm saying? And, and he he would have got away with the shit. That motherfucker ain't say nothing. God damn. But yeah, nigga shot at the law. <laughs> shit. God like, damn. Like, look, man. Look, man. When when I told like when I told you that that when that crack hit that era that era, when that era came in you know, shit, it 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 created some shit. 
You know what I'm saying? Like it was it, 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 different type nigga. Nigga football, nigga, niggas with aspirations. <laughs> niggas with aspirations. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, in college what? Nigga, shit. Who, nigga? What they, what they talking about? Yeah. HBCU, HBCU, nigga, what, what was that? <laughs> nigga, the LMNOP, nigga? Shit. Nigga, aspirations, yeah. Right out the window. Nigga, shit. Nigga, yeah, nigga yeah. See, man, look. Nigga, you walking around. With two years ago shoes on, yeah. Your brother pants on, hell yeah. My shirt on, shit like that. Look, hell man, yeah. and and you see this shit right here. It ain't got, and you know it ain't, and, and you see it ain't got to be like that. Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah, nigga, nigga, throw their dreams away, man. Yeah, po- yeah. Poverty, poverty is a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. motherfuckers, motherfuckers know, shit. Poverty a motherfucker. Niggas throw their dreams away to 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 feed themselves. You know what I'm saying? Hell thing yeah. about it, one thing about it, it always start off as to feed yourself. Be able to take care of yourself. But boy, when that shit get to rolling, <laughs> that's that's, yeah. that's 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 when that's that's when the, that's when the test of man come. Hell yeah. Cause see, that shit gonna be your testament. <laughs> That's when the testament gonna be your testament. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real nigga shit. I'm telling you, bro, because this is where a lot of us go to prison. Yeah. This is where a lot of us get killed. Already. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, like real nigga shit, man. Okay, so we go to that then. I got that. That was one of the questions. I was, what, what, your first time going to prison, like, what was your first time going to prison for? And at what age was you whenever you went to down the for the first time, time? The first time I went to prison, prison. I I, I went to safe feet first time. That's, that's not like prison. That's like, but you got to go through transit. Yeah, yeah. That's not like prison. I've been to prison this this time. I, this is the first time I went to prison. This okay, okay, prison. okay, okay, okay. And uh. No, what was your question? What was the you? first time you so and you, before like before you so I'm guessing you was on uh you know to go to say P and shit you was probably on like some yeah, type of probation or yeah, shit yeah, yeah, so what you call it, like a dope case oh, or oh, some oh, shit oh no nah, I robbed somebody okay I, and, and, and I and I don't say that shit proudly dog because that 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 situation that happened that day man that situation that happened that day see it was whack it was bunk it was petty on my be, on my behalf you know what i'm saying I, I i talked my nigga into doing something he probably didn't have to do because but and i knew the reason why he'll get down with a nigga because he he a wild nigga like that you know what i'm saying he he, he with the shit like that yeah so, and, and we didn't lose enough money to to really get at these niggas like that few of the niggas in the house was friends they was just wrong place wrong time you know what i'm saying we're yeah. in another city you know what I'm saying? We we in another little town, man. And uh, I discharged that firearm twice in that house. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And when we was got all the money in the jewelry and we was running out the house, my nigga, I looked over, man. This 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 this, this had to be God, bro, because I looked over to my left, man. I remember this vividly, and I never forget. I looked over the. And I seen that lady, the owner of the house, the lady whose house that was, balled up on the couch. I ain't never seen nobody scared like that in my life. Yeah. I never seen nobody scared like that in my life. And don't no woman, don't no child, don't nobody deserve to be ever frightened like that, bro. Hell yeah. I don't know. nobody, nigga. That that shit was that shit on my behalf, my nigga. That shit was cowardly, my nigga. That shit was whack as fuck, and uh, nigga. That to this day, I quit robbing people that day, nigga. Oh, really? I got caught for that shit. I got caught for that shit. I deserved it. You, you say this was it? this was outside of court type yeah, shit yeah. already. Yeah, I, I got caught for that shit, and I fucking deserved that shit. But nigga, I never forget the face on, of that woman. That's why my nigga ain't with that jacket. I don't I ain't with that jacket. I don't give a fuck what she doing, how much money she got, what part of the game. If it ain't pit, if it ain't no P, yeah. If it ain't no P, I ain't for taking nothing from no woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't for I ain't for strong arming her, abusing her. Yeah. Or if it ain't no P, nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, my nigga, and, and I got I got niggas, I got niggas that you know that I had considered friends who 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 did that shit when I was telling them, my nigga, don't let that girl make it. Yeah. And a nigga still go jacker, dog. I, I I fucking hate them niggas like that, man. All right, hell yeah. And and, and yeah, I, re- I regretted that motherfucking shit. So y'all pull that shit and then y'all end up fucking like 
on the run type of shit. Not even that shit. Nigga didn't get to go nowhere. Shit, them niggas caught us that day. <laughs> nigga didn't even, nigga, they caught us. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, motherfuckers. It was, it was, it was, it was dumb. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and, uh, nigga, nigga got out. I wound up getting probation for that shit. You know what I'm saying? What I done, I had, I bought it. I picked up a dope case. On probation? Yeah, I picked up a dope case. <laughs> the bitch ass niggas sent me to Safe P, right? Oh, nigga, yeah. And I paid to go to Safe P. Them niggas was trying to fuck a nigga over, man. Yeah. Because of the the the, the shit that I did. In because you was already had. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it was if it was a, if it was a dope case that I had in that town, it probably would have been lenient from the jump. Yeah. But it was the shit that I did. Then, oh, you really? know what I'm saying? So they were trying to hang a nigga there. So I wound up having to pay to go to. Yeah, Safe hell, people, yeah. nigga. I went to tell them hoes I do all kind of drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They trying, yeah. They, trying to, they trying. I'm young as fuck. Just got new new. They trying to. They trying to th- hit a nigga with the book. You yeah, know what hell, I'm yeah. Hey, I got new new. They trying to hit a nigga with the book. I got Jazz and Dominique, uh, Jack and motherfucking uh, Dino. So, nigga, I, I tell, I tell, no, 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 no. I take that back. I take that back. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have them. That's when I. That's when I. Uh, did I have Nunu when I picked up that? Yeah, I did have Nunu when I picked up the dope case. That when I got when I picked up the dope case, I think I had Nunu. I think I had Nunu already. Yep, yep, I had them. I, yeah, I already had my kids before I before I had the robbery. Already, charge, except for Nunu. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For the robbery charge, when I picked up the dope case, I had I had Nunu. Okay. But uh, when I I picked up the dope case, wound up going to motherfucking Safe P. I get out. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. I pick up a. Uh, you still on probation, probably yeah. after you get out safe. P type yeah, shit. Hell yeah. yeah. I get out, pick up another weed charge. I don't report that shit. I code keep reporting, keep reporting. I ain't reporting in so long. When I go back, I got a new probation officer. <laughs> so I ain't. So I just keep reporting. So this is when I'm fucking with with uh. This is when I'm fucking with Screw Nim, what what Al D. You okay. Know what I'm this is at this time I'm fucking with Al D, and we go to uh, we go to Screw birthday party. Damn. This deal, me him and Cool C. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Bam, we flip out there, we booling like a motherfucker. We having a good time and shit, right? So they interview Al in the what's the name. So it's a glimpse of me and it's a, you know glimpse of Cool in the in the in the in the, in the uh, video. Oh really? So. When the when after the screw passed away, the 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 the, the uh the VHS finally came out. Oh really? So my nigga called me to his crib to come and get the. He said, "Creed, come and get the VHS, nigga. You own this hoe. You know what I'm saying? Oh really? So boom, I go over there. I got man, mind you, I got a joint in my pocket. I got a joint in my pocket. Fat ass joint in my pocket. I go over there, walk right in the house, bro. Walk right in the house to. Get the tape, not even two minutes. The laws come in that bitch. Yeah, I can't, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't. I pick up another weed charge, dog. So. God damn. And that, that, in that point, I went on the run. Oh, I ran, really? I, I, I ran. That was in like 2000. I ran to 2004. Well, I was fucking with yeah, that. hell you know yeah, I, hell I, ran, yeah. I ran for that long, man. So how how do you actually meet DJ Screw? That like that? Well, I I, I don't I ain't gonna say like, hey, that's my nigga. Oh yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. I just like but no, just the interaction in general. Like oh oh no, the nigga cool. Oh, the nigga, really? He was he was he was cool and laid back. Look, I ain't gonna even lie. Like when I would go we, when we we'll go to uh we we'll go hang we we'll go because he had moved he had got a new studio a, 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 he had got a, like a new a new studio and when uh. Nigga go over there with Al. One time, nigga, you know JB, right? Joe Bradley. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I took JB with me one time. Damn. Nigga, so screw them. Him and nigga, him and JB over there flipping through records, and you know what I'm saying. Stopping JB over there freestyling for them niggas. Damn. You know what I'm saying. That's how the interaction was. Damn. Put put it like that. You know what I'm saying. And that was your first time meeting him. That was. Oh like no, no, no! I had like- already been around. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Your first time meeting them, you meet them through Al D type shit? Yeah. Oh, really? Look, put it like this, bro. It, it go back to saying this. I ain't never been, what's the name around niggas? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know for what sure. I'm saying? For I've sure. always been me. Yeah, hell, You know what yeah. I'm saying? I shake your hand. I shake your hand. What's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to do too much talking. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Al was my friend. Yeah, already. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Al, Al he was my friend. You know what already. I'm saying? That was, that was Screw's. Brother, you Hell know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Uh, 
yeah. how, how a relationship to have. When he, you know, when I go to the city, that's what we want to go see or need to go holler. That's what we'll, we'll, we'll go by. Oh, you know really? What I'm saying? If we go to, if, if uh, he's like me, I just go to uh, school studio, that's where we go. You know oh, what I'm saying? Really? Because I was driving. Damn, hell I was yeah. driving. That was that was my that was my dog. You know what I'm saying? And to that to that when when we ain't gonna say fell off, but when that happened, that's when you know he stayed. He he he, he no longer start coming back to corporate. You oh, know what really? I'm saying? Because yeah. we was going. I was I was hanging. Put like this. I was hanging with him so tough, man. I was in Houston more than I was in corporate because we was going back and forth every two days. Hell yeah. But like you say, because I remember they was always back and forth down here doing the SUC concerts. DJ Screw back and forth to Corpus. And basically after Screw died, they that like they had that they pretty much stopped doing the SUC concerts. Then they started happening on, like you say, way later on, 2003, 2004, 2005. But mm-hmm. right when Screw passed away, I don't yeah. the SUC then wasn't really coming down here too much shit. So that's what's up. Hell yeah, that's what's up. So when does when does like wet start like hitting the scene here in corpus and shit? Man, does a nigga bring that shit from like Cali? Does a nigga bring that that you remember the nigga bring it from Houston? Like man, when does? I, it, like, I ain't gonna lie, it's always came from Houston, but the real deal that was coming through Houston that was getting the corpus was from Cali. No, oh, really. I used to call it the Bay. Uh, oh you know shit, I was, really. the nigga. That's what they call. That's what they used to call a nigga. Yeah, because Big Bay is an actual person. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know for sure, saying? for sure, for sure. But that's where, from my understanding, where it was coming from, the way he was getting it. Yeah. Yeah. Look, when I was at Miller, they was already smoking this shit. Damn. But they were smoking it on Palm Oz. Already. And they were smoking it out of them little black ink jars. You know what I'm saying? Them black ink jars. And uh, I had a homegirl that was fucking with it. I got. I had another nigga, older nigga that was that smoked that one night and thought he lost his fucking head. Damn. And nigga was tripping real shit right in, right in the other uh, projects, my nigga. God you know damn. what I'm saying? And, uh, and it was tripping like a motherfucker. I'm going like that. That shit was funny, no motherfucker. And I was I was about maybe fifteen at the time, like about fifteen at the time. But nigga, we um. Uh, those was the first stages of what I knew. My like, my auntie used to like when we were smoking joints and shit. When yeah. We were smoking joints. My auntie used to make us like tell us, you know, y'all niggas get your ass up here, or or, or or get on this porch and shit right here and smoke that shit right here because y'all don't know what the fuck somebody gave y'all. Y'all might have some clicker juice. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. She used to say that shit, but shit, you know, my little era of niggas when we was hustling, we used to fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? We used to we used to we used to fuck with the dip. Hell yeah. We used to, we started off with like sticks. Well, I, when I was telling y'all like the little Sherm sticks, the little, the little, it, it's a thin ass motherfucking joint. Like a real thin saying? ass little one, joint. One Hell, yeah. Ass joint. Hell yeah. Everybody hit that bitch, you know, a nigga feel like he on clouds. That's all, you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? God and damn. then like me and my niggas, we used to open the suite. Tear that bitch up in that hole. You know what I'm saying? Bring God it down damn. a little bit, but we just be all right. You know what I'm saying? And then niggas with uh, I think I think I think when the shit got bad is when niggas just started saying fuck the weed. That straight Newport next year, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> when niggas got to the port, that changed the game. Say man, I think that was just like. Nigga, that's when they got brutal out here with that motherfucking shit, man. Hell like, yeah. oh my god, dog. Like, that man, the 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 the. the nigga and do you see tripping. a difference in the way? Yeah, I was saying a difference niggas in the way tripping. people acting. Yeah, and hell, shit. yeah. Like, like, bro, we didn't, we, we didn't have no look. And nigga, this was the best shit. Yeah. This was the best shit, nigga. This is the best shit. This is the best motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, nigga, this is the best shit. <laughs> and nigga, when niggas, nigga, when we was putting that shit in them joints or just smoking the little, the little sherm stick, nigga, we was good, bro. We riding around, dipping through the city, banging screw, nigga, uh, uh, eight ball and them JG. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga, yeah, we yeah. we booling, you know, like yeah. like for real. Nigga, when when niggas just said fuck the weed. 
and went and just started just dunking ports. Yeah. Nigga. Oh man, we all became some different type of demons, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, niggas became some different type of demons. Niggas, that's when niggas started. Niggas started tripping. Niggas getting butt naked. Damn. Niggas uh, niggas talking to telephone poles. You know what I'm saying? Bitches tripping, pissing outside, squatting and pissing outside. Yeah, man. I mean, man. God damn. Man, I remember one time, bro. Nigga, I had uh, I fucked with Isaac, Isaac bitch ass, Isaac Caldwell. And uh, nigga, I had uh, smoked a motherfucking sherm. And that nigga had dropped me off at my baby mama house. I was on the run. Nigga. I took all my pants, you know what I'm saying, and hid in the closet, nigga. And was talking about them hoes not gonna get me. You know what God I'm damn. These hoes not gonna get me tonight, you know what I'm saying? He was like, leave it that hoes not gonna get me. I ain't going to jail, right? <laughs> and say, the nigga, uh, <laughs> The nigga Isaac had took my weed and went to the car. He was getting ready to leave. Through all that shit, I knew my weed was gone. Say, I, uh, goddamn it, what you call it? Like, like the military niggas. Yeah. <laughs> crept up to that nigga door. His window was down. And I pulled up to that nigga door. I said, bitch, give me my weed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say, nigga was tripping like a motherfucker that night. But say, I done seen some of the, man, I done seen niggas do the, one of the, one of the, uh, Crazy, crazy ones I seen was uh was that was that uh, was in Smithville a nigga on the dip. God damn. And, and, and it was one of the great ones. You know what I'm saying? R. I. P. It was one of the great ones, man. That nigga, that nigga got that nigga got butt. That nigga, that nigga uh. That nigga, that nigga down. That nigga took off his uh. A nigga pulled his pants down. A nigga took off his necklace and threw that bitch. Then a nigga pulled his pants down and moved over in front of the crowd, dog. God damn. Yeah, and that, that's and that's like when niggas used to have the handheld camcorders and shit. Like yeah, that yeah, day yeah. When the motherfuckers first came pop. Yeah. And, and shit, niggas, motherfuckers were recording that shit and bitches was capping and talking, man. That shit, that shit, that was fucked up. That was one of the worst. That was one of the worst ones I seen of of a nigga tripping and shit off that motherfucking dip. That was the worst. That was the worst ones. But, nigga, I was I was so glad that shit was over for me. I'm glad I'm like I'm glad shit just ain't nothing better than weed to me, bro. Yeah, you yeah, dig what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Ain't nothing better than weed. Yeah, yeah. Some edibles or you know some say I've been fucking with them shrooms lately. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ain't I ain't fucking with them heavy, but I you know but. Hell yeah. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Some some of nature's best. Fuck that other oh, shit. Really? You know what I'm saying? Fuck that man made shit, man. So when, like, so when you on the run, how do you end up getting caught up? Because like I remember, like I said, that was around the time that we was fucking around real tough, and then out of nowhere, you really disappeared. And to this day, I don't really even know the story of how you disappeared. Type shit, <laughs> bro. Okay, I made the newspaper. Almost won it. Oh shit! Okay, I think I do remember that now. Remember? Okay, you was on yeah. the Noise County Top yeah. Ten Most Wanted. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. I remember that. Oh, cause we we were sitting there looking at the paper. <laughs> we were sitting there looking at the goddamn paper, and you right. We sitting there to each other, and we all looking at the goddamn. You show sure goddamn right. I remember I, I that. Went out, I went. Out, I went out to go get to go get. Uh, I went out to go get some money. Go hustle, nigga. Ozzy, mama called. She said, Ozzy. Y'all seen the news? And she said, no. She said, man, they got Creon on the news. Damn. And showed his picture in the newspaper. But you know what's on the news? He's like, what? Went to the Times Market right there in the hood. Went to the, uh, yeah, Times Market right there in the hood. Got out, got the newspaper. I looked in that bitch. It was, I remember, I remember, I remember, if I ain't mistaken, that bitch was October. That bitch was October. It was October newspaper, man. And... Nigga, we went back to the trailer. Yeah. Went back to the motherfucking house. And I posted <laughs> up, man. And I'm like, what, nigga, what you going to do? I say, man, I'm going to watch the rest of Dominique football season. I'm going to watch my son football season. And I'm going to turn my motherfucking self in. So I do that. Yeah. I do that. But I wasn't fit to turn myself in at the time. What happened was 
nigga, man, I was called a play, man. And the boy was, the boy was coming through for us, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Already. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga was giving us a, a, a nine every three days. He was giving us a nine pack every three days. Already. You know what I'm saying? And a nigga, you know, Ozzy motherfucking mouth All put right. a nigga in a, our business, and the nigga went and told the dude that. Isaac gonna rob him. Me and Isaac gonna rob him. Cause you know this is shit that Isaac do. He yeah. rob motherfuckers. Already. So the dude quit fucking with us. Already. And I and I went and we the nigga got on his ass. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. Went, nigga got back right back on our ass. And that, that that and that nigga been doing that hating that shit all his motherfucking life. But that nigga did that shit, my nigga. That nigga did that shit. And uh nigga, what happened, nigga? Michelle let me use the car, man. I I I I I feel bad about this. Michelle let me use the car, my nigga. I went to go drop in off. Nigga, I I I, I buy me a blue bull, nigga. Buy me a twenty four ounce blue blue <laughs> bull, nigga. Nigga, I pop me two tabs. Nigga, all I remember doing is going through Northside. Yeah. Riding on the way back, cause I'm I'm on the way to the house. Already. I'm coming the back way by like Driscoll. I go, I go, I get past Baldwin, nigga at the light at Baldwin. Yeah. Going down airport. Yeah, yeah, right. I was saying like that by the airport and shit. Hell yeah. Nigga, I'm in Michelle car, my nigga. All I hear, <laughs> nigga, I done jumped the curve on the other side and ran through somebody's wooden fence. Damn. Nigga, <laughs> I fuck Michelle car. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, try to blame this shit on us. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That, that bitch ass nigga owe me one, dog. Bitch ass nigga owe me one. Nigga, I tried to blame that shit on that nigga. Man. I tried to blame that shit. On that nigga, I woke up. I was, I was. The, 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 them tabs knocked me out, right? Next day, I woke up. She got on my ass. She said, Cree, you got to go. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I felt it, dog. I felt, <laughs> I felt it, dog. Like, I felt it, dog. I felt it, dog. I could, I couldn't eat, bro. Like I couldn't, man. She and, that, and to this day, she's still my nigga. We still already. Good, but I had, to, I had, to, yeah, I was, yeah, man. And uh, I thugged it out, bro, for about another month or two, man. And I say, fuck this shit, dog. I went turn myself in. That's what happened. I turned myself in. I never do that shit again. If uh, I ever decide to run, just you know, some shit like that happen, I never turn myself again. I make them motherfuckers work, nigga. <laughs> I ain't never do that shit again, my nigga. Nigga, I did seven years, nigga. Yeah, so I yeah, that's what I was gonna ask you too. Months, so nigga. I ain't never do that. So shit. you end up finally going to court and what did they actually sentence you to? They hit you with like a ten or eleven piece? What was the actual sentence? Oh nigga. I gotta chew this candy on this motherfucker. <laughs> nigga, that's how, that's how heartbroken. And this is in a county outside of Corpus, or this is in Corpus? Mine. You got two cases in two different counties? Damn, already. Nigga, I'm down there on the dope case out of Corpus. Two years, nigga. I'm happy in the world. Already. Nigga. Bench warrant to the other county. Nigga, I see parole. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go home. I'm getting ready to go home. Damn. I'll be home October. I only been gone for like I've been gone for I've been gone for uh I've been gone for for uh like seven months. Damn. I'm supposed to get ready to go home. I got two years. Yeah, hell saying? yeah, hell yeah. I got man, let me tell you what broke my heart about this shit too. I get that motherfucking I get a bench warrant, right? I get a I get a uh uh, I forgot what the fuck they call them slips in the penitentiary, man. I get the slip, right? And uh, it say bench one on that motherfucker. So I, the next day, I go out with my I-60. I go out with my I-60. The lay-in, uh, is that what they yeah, call yeah, it? Lay, yeah, lay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go yeah, out with yeah, my lay-in. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, my yeah. fucking lay-in. The I-60 is what you fill out. The yeah, yeah, hell they, yeah. They give you, I go out my lay-in. The bitch-ass guard look at it, right? He say... Oh, you got a bench warrant. He said, I hope, and this is what he said. He said, man, I hope you come back with some more time. Damn. 
Man, when I tell you, my nigga, that shit fucking crushed me, dog. Like, my nigga, I, man, I know you wouldn't, like, I know you wouldn't talk to me like this outside of this place. I ain't no big ass nigga, though. You in some penitentiary in some you know country ass town type shit you know at this time? I'm, 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 I'm in the valley. Oh, shit, okay. I'm, 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 okay. I'm, 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 on, I'm on, uh, I'm on Lopez. Okay, okay. I'm on Lopez. And he said, man, I hope you get some motherfucking time. Okay. They bring me out and shit. It's the morning. Man, I see that motherfucking, uh, the officer come. Man, I see the motherfucker, his, 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 his seal on his motherfucking jacket. I was like, ah, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I want to die. Yeah, you know what I'm nigga. saying? I want to die, nigga. I want to fucking die, nigga. I don't know. Mind you, nigga, it's already, ele- I had 10 years probation for him, right, nigga? It's already 11 years later. Damn. You know These bitch-ass niggas could have let me make it, bro. You dig what I'm saying? It's already 11 years later. I just didn't act right. But come on, my nigga. Just never finished the probation type just, shit. Well, but, not but, even just, I know I picked up some more cases, but nigga, I wasn't out here being violent. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it was, yeah. they, they were just weed cases. You yeah, know what yeah, yeah, yeah. I These fuck niggas ain't have to do me like that, but okay. I go back, right? I go back on this bitch ass bench warrant, right? Nigga. These hoes talking about 20 years. Shh. When I first, they were trying to give me 36. And that's on the original, the original robbery case? Yes. Okay, okay. These bitches were trying to give me 36 at first. You know what I'm saying? From the jump. Damn. Before I got the paper. You know what I'm saying? Only reason why they couldn't, they, they, I got that probate. I mean, they gave us that paper. They couldn't find the gun. Already. We hit that bitch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But my nigga hit that bitch. They couldn't find the gun. They had bullet cases and all that shit. But when I wasn't out, man, if we were smart enough, we could have beat that shit. Already. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? So basically, that that original charge that you talk about with the gun and shit that you could have beat, you you end up getting the paper, but you end up getting the bench warrant years later for that same case. These bitches tried to and give, and you're them. basically fighting that same case again. Yes, these bitch ass niggas wanted to give a nigga twenty years, dog. I was like, no. <laughs> No, <laughs> nigga, is you crazy? No, nigga, no, I'm not signing for nothing. <laughs> nigga, no, I'm trying to get five. That's my minimum. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, really? bitch, I'm here in the penitentiary. This motherfucker got two. Okay, go and give me the minimum on my sentence. Five years, my nigga, I'm not ready to get y'all 11 outside on these streets. Oh, okay, really? I ain't follow protocol, but still. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm like, man. That motherfucker said, no, my nigga. I, I was like, I'm not, no, I'm not signing nothing. You know what I'm saying? They want you to sign for 20? Man. I didn't sign for nothing, man. So, about right, three months later, them hoes come back with 10. I'm like, nah. I'm going for the five, nigga. <laughs> I'm going for the five, nigga. <laughs> we go to court. I had to sign for that 10, nigga. <laughs> to get a, say, the judge say, look, man. That nigga was not trying to be my friend. Yo, oh, man. I'm like, ain't no. I really didn't find, look. Bet. I did seven on that bitch. Damn. Seven years, three months, my nigga. That shit whack as fuck. On a charge that you had caught 11, 10, 11 years prior. God damn. God damn. That shit whack as fuck, man. Okay, so then while you in prison, what makes you decide to come home with a new plan instead of just coming back home to the same old shit that you was up to before you got locked up? And also, what has you noticed has changed before in the seven years that you've been gone? I'm, I'm a smart nigga, dog. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't never trying to be like the same person I was before. No, oh, really. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, hell look, yeah. look, to each his own. Like, for real, you are who you want to be, for my sure, nigga. For sure. Whoever you speaking about yourself and to exist, nigga, that is who you are. But there's no fucking way, my nigga. I'm finna sit in a penitentiary, nigga, for seven motherfucking years, nigga. With this and, and come back out with the same mentality, yeah, the same yeah. shit on my. It, some, some niggas do. Yeah. Some niggas sure. say, "Bro, I'm down there. I seen it." Yeah. yeah you dig yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't know what it is. I and it is what it is. But look, I'm a seeker, dog. I'm I, 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 I'm a, I, I'm 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 just. 
I, I can't I can't put it into words, but bro, look, I swear to God, bro, I don't know how many niggas can say this and and, 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 and can understand this. You know what I'm saying? Because it do happen, and I know it's certain niggas, Mexicans or white men, whoever that did time in the penitentiary. I did time in the penitentiary the way I wanted to, my nigga. No, Real yeah, talk. Yeah. yeah Real yeah. talk. I did it the way I wanted to, and get and, and, and understand what I say. How I wanted to, my nigga. With no, with 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 no authority over me. Already, for sure. With no authority, sure. especially from an inmate. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. With no, and I ain't no, I ain't no big nigga. I am not no big nigga, but it was there was no authority over me. You know Already. what I'm saying? I carried myself in a manner to where. No, I have, have I had situations with guards, yeah. But oh, I carry yeah. myself in a manner to where these niggas don't fuck with me. Oh, really? Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because they ain't got time for it. You know what I'm saying? I want my shit. I want my motherfucking radio. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 want, I want to keep my... I don't want them shaking my shit down. I need my bleach. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? That ain't supposed to be having. You know? <laughs> I want my motherfucking speaker that's bootleg that ain't supposed to be having. Hell yeah. That they, they, they can get my restrictions and shit for, for me. But if I ain't in their fucking way, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm Hell good. Yeah. I'm to the bitch ass good. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I've, I've had a few little incidents, but shit. Nigga, I did my time the way I wanted to, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? With 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 the people I wanted to, how I wanted to. Hell yeah. And nigga, I learned a lot of shit in that month. Look, when they put me in the 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 best thing they did for me was put me in the library. Already. When they put me in the library, it was a wrap. Because I was already reading certain books. You know what I'm saying? I was already reading certain books. So now I got a I, I got a whole section to myself. I can I say I can take it. I can, I can I can check out as many books as I want to. D. No, already hell yeah. This woman allowed because of the work I do in there. The lady kind of lazy. She don't. I ain't gonna say she lazy. She just don't know how to do all this stuff because I'm so uh, analytical about the shit that I do. And you know what I'm saying. So that was the job they gave you in yeah. there. Was work. okay, bad, bad, bad. So I'm so I'm so I'm so good at the work that I do. You know what I'm saying. The lady pretty much let me. Have run of the library, order what books Damn. I want. Only thing she wouldn't let me order was the was the black books. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of she because she was a Christian man, she made me mad, y'all. <laughs> say man, she wouldn't let me order them black books, man. She's the black authors was say she says I don't want that disgusting stuff on my shelf. You oh, know what I said? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, you don't came off that page while they talking about that the one of sex scenes. You know what I said? <laughs> say, man. Yeah, Let's yeah. say, boy, she would not let me order none of them books. But what I did do, ordered, I ordered a lot of books on knowledge. knowledge type, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and plus, yeah. it was the books of knowledge was there. Now, I'm reading, I'm, look, bro, I'm reading on. Man, white people, brown people, Asian. I ain't, I ain't talking about. I'm talking about your history, yeah, nigga. for sure, for sure. Hell I'm talking yeah, about yeah. from everything, hell nigga. Yeah. I want to know why niggas the way we yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm reading on everything, my nigga. I'm reading, bro. I'm, I'm reading on the, 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 uh, the genetic makeup of each individual. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about from the dirt to man. I mean, look, man. I, I'm, I'm in this shit. Hell yeah. I'm in this shit like real deep with the oh, studying really? and stuff Hell like yeah. that, bro. Oh, really? Man, look, boy, if I could call my nigga Frank Nitty. <laughs> it ain't, ain't talking ain't talking about Gator. I ain't saying no, Frank no, Nitty. Yeah, no, I'm I talking feel, about my nigga yeah, Frank yeah, Nitty. I, mean, I ain't say Drake Nitty. <laughs> I say Frank Nitty, my nigga Frank Nitty. That nigga would tell you. He would tell you. You got five minutes to talk to this man. If you walk up to the table to him. And you see him out there in his books, and you got five fucking minutes, bro. Damn. And if, and if, and if, and you better have something serious, or he's not gonna talk to you. I'm telling you, I did time the way I wanted to, my Damn. nigga. Damn. Oh, I yeah. had a whole table to myself, my shit out there. You know, nobody fuck with me. Hell yeah. Nigga, come to my table. I'm like, look, man, don't come over here, bother me. You got five fucking minutes, dog. And he'll tell you that. <laughs> he'll tell you that. He'll, he'll tell you that out of his motherfucking mouth, dog. Say that my name on my back. They say he say he say uh say man Basil said Basil but when you walk up to the table Basil they gonna tell you, you got five minutes bro and and, and if and whatever come out of your mouth right now better be of some importance or he not gonna talk to you. Oh really? 
I did that shit the way I wanted to, bro. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? At that time, nigga, I was nigga, I was on some shit. I was on some shit. You know what I'm saying? I I I I looked at after after reading so much, bro. It, it it allowed me to look at, at life different. Yeah, hell you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. It allowed me to look at life different, have a have a different perspective. It allowed me to know who the fuck I am too, bro. For sure. You know hell what I'm saying? Yeah. Because look, bro. Look at him, man. Check it out. This is this what this is this is what my table consisted of eating, nigga. On a, on a, in the, in the penitentiary, nigga. This is my table consisted of eating, nigga. It was. It was four Muslims, me, Abdullah, me, Abdullah, Mateen, and, and Nasir. And Nasir's Asian. Oh. Six foot, nigga. <laughs> he, six, six foot from Vietnam by where Oklahoma, by where H-Town, nigga. He is superb, nigga. God damn. He is superb. God damn. <laughs> Say, if, if he walked in here and you ain't seen him, you thought it was a nigga. Yeah, damn. You thought it was a nigga. Yeah. Okay, that's them. I got, my, I got my partner Dookie. He a crib. I got, I got, uh, I got KD. I got, we got KD, motherfucking, uh, uh, KD, T-Bone, them niggas bloods, uh, my 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 brother in law Raul. Damn, I should have said that, not that, but I he I would just say he affiliated. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? They he not supposed to be at the table with us. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But this look, man, nigga, I did time the way I wanted to do, dog. Hell yeah. I ate with who I wanted to eat with, my nigga. I did I thug with who I want. I did who I man look, and, and to this day, my nigga niggas fuck with me that. Was in there, nigga. They all in my phone. Oh, really? Yeah, they all yeah. in my phone. I talk to him from time to time again. Hell yeah. Every time Frank Nitty come down, he call me. I go pull up on him. He 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 way he, he way from uh uh West Texas, some little small town. Damn, already. Hell yeah. Just the relationships you build with people in there that was real type shit. Man. Like like for real. But I I did that shit the way I want to. Now, you know, I seen a lot of fucked up shit. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I seen some fucked up shit, but shit, I mind my business. During them seven years, was you they transferring you from different unit to different unit, or did you mainly just no? Stay I say I, I I say you go through transit. Transit's like Gaza, East, yeah, yeah, Gaza, for sure. West, yeah, Lopez, yeah, yeah. right? You gonna you gonna stay there for like eighteen months. You are gonna stay there, then they are gonna ship you to diagnostic. That's yeah. where they gonna run you through the machine, I mean, run you through the system. You know what I'm saying? You are gonna stay on lockdown for forty five days or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Three weeks or some shit like was it three weeks or forty five days? Some shit like I think it was three weeks or forty five days. One of the motherfucking numbers like that, right? And then they're gonna work your way to your unit. You know what I'm saying? So you might go through two or three units depending on what. What part of Texas you going yeah, through? Yeah, before you, know you hit your saying? main before you unit hit your, type shit. Before Hell you yeah. hit your main motherfucking unit. You know what I'm saying? So I stayed on my I stayed on my main unit for eighteen. Maybe four five years. Oh really? And then they sent me to call for uh they call it shit. Like a pre-release facility yeah, pre-release type shit. Behavior modification. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I almost fucked that off. Damn. <laughs> nigga. I'ma fuck that off. <laughs> Twice, nigga. Damn. Nigga, nigga, like. <laughs> I cut my like this messenger dude, this old dude was kind of weird. He, he just he motherfucker thought he was too tough. You oh, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So he had a habit of standing niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, so I stared at his ass back, and he was like, what? And I was like, what? He was like, come over here. You know, like, come in here. I'm like, no, nah, bitch, I ain't going up in your cell, bitch. We can catch this paper right here. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm a little nigga, dog. I know, I, I, I'm going to always fight to my advantage. Yeah, I mean, hell yeah. No, we're going to catch this space out here, nigga. Hell You're not yeah. supposed to give me no confined space, bitch. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? And you already got me by, like, 60 pounds, bitch. Yeah, no, we're going to yeah. get out here, and I'm going to box your bitch ass up. But I almost threw that shit away. Them niggas sent me. I like nigga the fucking whole what's the name wrote me up, nigga. And I nigga I was that 
That shit that had me fucked up, nigga. Yeah, damn. And then, nigga, on the day they let me go, man, I, ain't gonna, I don't know why I was getting smart with that lady, man. She, Because that bitch had a smart mouth, too. And I was like, shit, I'm supposed to go. Fuck what you talking about. Some shit like that. And she said, what? <laughs> she said, what? And she, and, uh, man, man, my partner, one of the nigga from, my nigga, uh, Greenpoint was like, nigga, you tripping. And he heard, and they hurry up and straighten up. Like, nigga, you tripping. Nigga, yeah, these yeah. folks can keep you, nigga. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And she called her, she called her, she called her sergeant back there. And the nigga sergeant came and grabbed me. That nigga talked to me, man. He said, man, what the fuck is you doing? You're on your way home. The fuck is you doing? You on your way home, dog. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? why I, was, I was like, he, he say, what she say? I see say, what she say to you? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what? What the fuck does it mean, dog? You on your way home? Get the fucking line and shut the fuck up, man. I couldn't even look. I couldn't even argue with that nigga. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't, nigga got admonished like little old bitch. I couldn't even argue with that nigga because it was true. Uh, nigga, I got my baby mama out there waiting for me. Well, the mother of my son, Nunu, no, mama, I don't never call my baby mama, the mother of my children. Yeah. Uh, Nunu, mama out there waiting for a nigga, coming to pick a nigga up. And mind you, nigga, when I get out there, the other side door open, it's my daughter. Nigga, I ain't seen my daughter, nigga, I don't know how long. You know what I'm saying? She was like 10, 12. Damn. Nigga, I did all the time. Damn. You know what I'm saying? When I came home, she was. When I came home, Jack was what, 20? I hadn't seen since she was 12. You know Damn. what I'm saying? So when I came home, Jack was 20. You know what I'm saying? So I, I could have fucked all that, that whole ass shit off, man. I could have fucked all that off. Hell yeah. So then you come home and then what, you end up like getting a job type shit? Man, look at here, bro. I do, like, man, this is one thing I understood, my nigga. I worked in that bitch for free. Yeah. For free, nigga. Yeah. For seven years, yeah. nigga. Yeah. For free. Yeah, nigga. yeah. Nigga, I look, look, bro, I, I, I made cards for for uh for 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 for, for money, dog. Yeah. I sold bleach for money, dog. I uh I I uh drew for money, dog. Got your hustle on what yeah, they yeah, were calling, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. I, nigga. I think look yeah. Hell yeah. job. Yeah. Look, my, my yeah, look, good. I did yeah. I, I was going to all my classes. I did everything I was supposed to do, going to all my classes, stayed on house arrest, all that shit. Nigga, my parole officer said, Krim, go right here and uh they looking for people to work. No, really. When I went there, bro, I went there with the mentality, man, that I'm gonna survive this shit, bro. I started at the bottom, nigga. I came home to like working for eight dollars in the sun, sun, nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. Where the place where I lost my fucking, I had my injury, yeah, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying, nigga? And and nigga, they was letting people, niggas was quitting. They was letting people go left and right, nigga. When when December come around, nigga, they was laying people off, my nigga. But I knew early into what was going on. So when that when that shit when that next the next time it happened, I worked my way so in that. They gonna take instead of laying me off with like they do everybody else. They yeah. gonna take me out of town now with them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> hell yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like my nigga, this is this is my only shot. Yeah, hell yeah. I, that's how I work. Like yeah. it was my only shot, hell my yeah. nigga. But I work my way from time motherfucking rebar and, and iron and shit to just to the AC. Already. You know what I'm saying. That's what I did. You know what I'm saying. And my one of my partners was like one of my essay partners was like. You're like, man, the only thing you can do up there is be a fucking uh, foreman or super, I mean, like that. He said, you can't go no further, man. Stay down here with me. I was like, no, nah, bro. I say, because all that shit, the tiny cable shit, it wasn't for me. It was giving me carpal tunnel, nigga. When I, I be talking about in the middle of the night, that shit will wake me up. My hands are locked up and be hurt, oh, my shit. nigga. But what else could I do, my nigga? I, 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 need, I, I was, You got to have to do what you have to do I to survive. Hell yeah, yeah, like, yeah, for real, yeah, my yeah, nigga. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Baby mama and I, my, well, Leslie and I already sacrificed what the fuck she had to sacrifice for a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Just to have a nigga there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So yeah. now it's my turn. You know yeah, what I'm hell saying? Yeah, hell yeah. So... Yeah, nigga, I worked my way to that motherfucking AC, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm batching concrete, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Shit, fuck that. And then, you know, I stay late. I'm Look, man, I'm leaving when the motherfucking, uh, the, uh, the, uh, god dang, what was that? What was he? I'm leaving when the motherfucking, uh, the, uh. Supervisor head, dude. Regional manager leave. Oh, shit. I'm leaving when that nigga leave. You know what I'm saying? When that nigga clock out, I'm gone. <laughs> My nigga take off his hard hat, nigga, I'm taking off mine. 
You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, I, I, nigga, look, 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 D. Nigga, I, used, I, used, nigga, I done pulled 86 hours in a week. You know what I'm saying? And they, and, and they come back, how did, how you get that hour? I say, look, I say, you check the camera. <laughs> You check the camera. <laughs> <coughs> Bitch, I was from here from sun up to sundown. Check the camera. I'm uh, here. Yeah. Nigga, ain't, you ain't shit. <laughs> I ain't, ain't jacked for nothing. <laughs> shit. God damn. Whatever, when y'all was sending everybody else home, when y'all needed this motherfucking, or every night y'all need this motherfucking concrete cover, everybody yeah. ready to get the fuck out here, who you think had to be here to three, 2 or 3 in the morning to cover this shit? Hell yeah. I'm going to get them every time. Oh really? I, was, I used to tell I used to tell them motherfuckers that first forty yours, the next forty mine, motherfucker. Yeah. You did yeah, shit. Yeah. That motherfucker come with the uh with the with the time and a half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I was, man. I, I just can't. I, I had that mission, bro. I had that mission. Hell yeah. So that's the place where you had the accident at. Yeah. And you had the accident with doing concrete or doing the rebar. Like, how does that actually happen? Well, on this day, there's a machine. That pours the concrete called a tucker. You sit in it, and it got to no, a snout. You roll the snout out like that, hit the switch. You got a big old bucket back here with the concrete in it. Not really. It pushes the concrete out and pour it inside the beam. That thing right there is an auger. It's like a big ass screw. Yeah. I was cleaning it out and fell in it. Damn. And caught both my legs. And it was spinning when you were cleaning it out? Damn. The thing about it, Bob, it couldn't get past this, so it pushed it to the metal, and it was just, eh, it stopped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just stopped. Yeah, uh, damn. And that shit had you in the hospital for, like, how long? Four months. I, th I did two, three months in surgery. I had 41 surgeries. And I did a month of rehabilitation in the hospital. I rehabilitated for about a year out here. Yeah. The walking shit. Like, ain't gonna lie, my nigga. I was walking before I was supposed to walk. You know what I'm Damn. saying? I was, nigga, nigga when, when, they, when they leave the house to go to work, the kids leave the house and yeah. shit like that, nigga. I'm in, the, I'm in the crib thugging. You know what I'm saying? God damn. Once they took the, see, I had, I had two rods at the bottom of my, once they took them two rods out of my, Leg, yeah, and they had to turn the fixate off of him. Yeah, I started, you know, learning to walk on my own, man. You know what I'm saying? Once I, once, I, once I knew that bone was healed, and I could step on it, yeah. And that shit, Cause I was, I was worried about if I was gonna feel pain, and I didn't. Once I, once that shit like that, I just be walking around the house. But when everybody get in there, I get in my wheelchair. Already, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Cause I don't want, I don't want nobody to be scared or nothing like that. Yeah. Then I get the therapy in front. Yeah, I did. Through my little rehabilitation, lying up in that bitch. Yeah, I did. Before you know it, I'm back at it, man. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, nigga don't know how tra how traumatized I am behind this motherfucking shit. Uh -huh, like, hell yeah. Like, I lost a lot behind this shit. Yeah, hell yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And. I don't. I tr I try not to let that shit like fuck with me or bother me sometimes, like my nigga. But sometimes this shit bother me, dog, because I be wondering like if I still was on my job, where would I? F how far? Yeah, I'd be hell in life, yeah, you hell know what yeah, I'm saying? hell and, yeah. To, to where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I'm, I'm not complaining, but I'm complaining. You know what I'm I saying? I'm yeah. complaining, bro, I because man, if I know. I don't know. I be shit, nigga. I be sometimes. Is this shit karma? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did I, was I really that type of bad person, man? Like, cause I, I remember, man. I done had motherfuckers tell me, nigga, God, and that shit hurt. Like, bitch, who is you? You know what I'm saying? Be like, uh, uh, God took your, you know, your shit so you can slow your motherfucking ass down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shit like that. I be like, nigga, you ain't have to do that to tell. Show me that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah. nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. do all that whole ass <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah. I, I be, I be, I be in my feelings like that sometimes, man. But, but then, my nigga, and, and you know what makes me in my feelings is because, like, I can't do a lot of things that, you know, everybody can do. I can't, I can't keep my grandkids like they, they all getting big now. But 
I can't keep them all the way I want to because some of them babies and if they run off, I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't yeah. chase them. I can't even defend them the way I want to without a weapon on me. I'm yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So these are the things that haunt me. I can't even like even in a relationship, bro. You know what I'm saying? Women like to travel and do a lot of things. I can only walk so far, so many distances. Oh, no, like okay, that, man. okay. I can't. I, you want to go on the beach? I can't even fucking walk on the sand. Oh shit! You know what I'm saying? Because Damn. Of my shit like this and the way it is, bro. So it's those things like that, like. Keep me out of certain situations and relationships because I want an individual like the woman to, to really be able to enjoy what she want out of a fucking relationship. Yeah, you know, yeah. dealing with me is kind of like I be feeling like it might be a little burden. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit like that. So. I feel you. I feel you. So that's why I like some of some of my you know my anger come because I I, I would I would I would love to be like my nigga. They give it look, man. It's money out here. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? I would love to be in the field. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, I love to be. I love to be able to drive trucks long distance. You know what I'm saying? F- from state to state, getting to the bread like that and shit like that. But Hell but yeah. but the truth in the matter is, bro, is that I can't. Oh really? You know what I'm saying? And I have to live with that shit. So I have to be creative other ways to create other type of revenue. You know, yeah, for myself yeah, yeah. because the government ain't taking care of nigga. Or they yeah. ain't gonna take care of nigga. Hell yeah. So we, we'll get into that and I'm into uh, closing all that shit. But before we, uh, when do you start making music again? Is that while you healing, while you're healing from the uh, accident, or is that after you're completely healed? Like when do you start recording music again and putting music together again? You know what? I always record. I just don't play my music for nobody. Already, bro. But like the project that we ended up all putting together when we had the plug and shit like that, like yeah. the project that we put, like oh. most of that music, like was that recorded like at, during the accident? Was that re- after, like after the accident after. already? Because to me, that was like, that was like some monumental shit to some, me. So I think some was recorded before and some was after. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Because that shit, that shit was like monumental to me being that. You have been rapping, like you say, since the early days. You hadn't dropped, like, nothing, like, really official. That was, like, your own shit. Mm-hmm. You did all that time in uh, the penitentiary. Then you get out, and then you go through the accident, and then to go through all that, and then to put some music together to be able to put out a project. Like, to me, that was, like, like I was real, like, yeah. proud of you yeah. for, like, that type of shit. Like, that was, like, like, it didn't, all the shit that you went through, Within those, what, fucking, maybe fucking 10 years prior, fuck, I guess you could probably even say like yeah. 18, maybe 17, yeah, yeah, 18 yeah. years prior, didn't hold you back from still wanting to fucking do some music type shit or put, put that shit out type shit. And that's why I was like, whenever yeah. you did that shit, I was like, man, that's what's up. Hell yeah. Like, check, check this out. Like, you know, like the clothes, the wave guard clothes. Yeah. I was right. I was doing this shit in prison, bro. Okay. Okay. I was I was writing patterns and drawing shit. It wasn't Wave Guard Supreme. Okay, alright. But the idea and the thing was already there. The shoes, bro. You see, you see, I'm doing the cut yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ideas was already there, bro. Because I can take you, I can take you to the crib. I can go through my folder that I have from the penitentiary, yeah. and I can show you all the blueprint to my shit. My so nigga. was the million dollar minds thing with the one you came that's up in the penitentiary? Was. Okay, that's what bet, it was. bet, bet. You know what okay, I'm saying? From the, from the clothing to yeah. the shoes, that's what it was. Okay, bet. And then you just basically changed that to the Wave Guard Supreme. Wave Guard Supreme. Bet, bet. You know what okay. I'm saying? All those those things had been in been in play, man. Oh, really? So like a nigga might be say, "Oh, Crown doing something new." No, nigga, oh, really? this shit this shit yeah. had been playing, my nigga. I was oh. just I was just I'm I just shit. When time presents itself, that's when it comes yeah. to fruition, my nigga. If you gonna do you know it, you wanna saying? do it right instead of just you got damn right it, putting it just to do it just to nigga. Wave off Supreme doing it. started with ten fucking shirts, nigga. For sure. We started yeah, with yeah. ten shirts, nigga. We got a shop, and it ain't ain't ain't, ain't capping or nothing like that. For but sure. I'm saying, nigga, like just the the work you put in, the grind you put in, the hustle you put in, the fucking start bro, from ten like, shirts to a fucking whole fucking like, shop now. Type and, and, shit. And, and, and the hate be like real too, my nigga. Like I watch, like man, I watch every whatever I do, I do it humbly, bro. Oh, and really? if you show me something, bro, I never. I'll never not uh, give you your props. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? I'll never let that shit go unnoticed. If oh, you really? show me a ton, that's why, like, when it comes to the fucking with the clothes and shit, I always credit Breland. I always credit Dollar Bill. I always credit Listen, bro. Oh, because really? they gave me the game, oh, dog. Really? They oh, took really? me to a place where, I, nigga, if, if it wasn't for Dollar Bill, I wouldn't know how to do the shit from the bit. Oh, really? Real. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? The nigga could have been getting my money 
to the day. Yeah. <laughs> to yeah. the day. But he gave you, you know the game on how to do the shit yourself. Hell yeah, right? hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I was just fucking with shirts. Oh, really? Brian listen took it help a nigga cross over. Oh, really? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. They help a nigga cross over, say, man, we can y'all can add stuff to this. And and, and and through investigation and being more nosy, you know, me and Kobe found other avenues for ourselves. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Well, that's what you so, got to do. You got to dig and, and search to find different types of shit. That's why a lot of people sitting there stuck and don't really know what to come up with in different concepts. But the way to get shit is, is you, you got to go digging and investigating and just thinking of shit outside the, the box. box. Like, yeah, bro. That fucking... And you got to do like, the shit, bro. On. You can't sit on your fucking exactly. ass, bro. You got to do Hell the shit, yeah. bro. Ain't nobody going to do the shit for you. Hell you got to yeah. do the shit. But, but and the thing is, it's like, man, like... You could start something, bro. You could, you could, you could, you could, you could, you could be doing something. You know what I'm saying? And a motherfucker. That's why, you, like, in other words, bro, you gotta be be careful about uh uh telling the motherfucker thank you when they applaud you. No, oh, really. You get yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Being quick to say thank yeah. you for applauding you, bro. Yeah. Because the same motherfucker that be applauding you today. You come up with something to be the same motherfucker hating you because you it, it's doing something. Hell yeah, bro. hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell uh, yeah. And, and, and I and, and I and I come to realize that just on on that little blue app, bro. That's what I was just about to say. It goes back to fucking on Facebook too, to where I think of people pressing the like button on your shit just. So they don't look like a hater. Yeah. Motherfucker ain't really like your shit. But so, so they don't look like a hater, they gonna like the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what you say with that motherfucker that go and ahead. You know what I do, bro? <laughs> like, I was I won't I'll look at your shit and scroll right past it. Bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Unless I like your shit. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And uh I see like you know, we doing something, motherfucker congratulate you. They see you progressing, then they'll post something of what you do. Yeah. Because they might have a little more experience with you. Yeah. And then cap on you to make themselves look good. Hell yeah. Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? Now What's they up? won't say your name. Yeah. But you, you know, we Facebook here, nigga. <laughs> we bitch, nigga, we read between the lines, nigga. Yeah. We we've been thugging on Facebook for a minute Hell now, yeah. nigga. Hell yeah. We've been thug we 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 know how to read between the lines. Hell and yeah. then you then niggas y'all don't even be built like that to even talk to somebody like that. Hell because yeah. You you do it because you know you don't see we don't see each other like that. Hell, nigga, we stay exactly. in the same city and they won't see you for four fucking months. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all doing our own thing. Hell you yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Nigga run across you. I remember what you posted, bitch. And you <laughs> take my hand. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. That 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 in itself let me know what type of nigga you is. But you know, sometimes man, you be so humble, bro. That's why I say nigga I say humble. Nigga be so humble, man. Sometimes you deserve to slap a nigga for disrespect. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you've been humble for so long, man. Hell yeah. You you deserve to say, boy, if I had both feet, man, I've been a slap me a few <laughs> niggas, man. Like for real, bro. Like Already. and I might slap somebody for somebody else because I ran <laughs> between the line, nigga. You Hell know what yeah. I'm saying? For being like that, man. Hell yeah. It's so bro, it's so like it's so much money, fucking money out here for all of us, and we could be doing the same motherfucking thing with our bumping yeah. heads, Hell my nigga. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nigga, uh, it, I ain't, ain't trying to cut y'all yeah, right there. But ahead. nigga, we it could be fit. We could, each one of us right here could have a podcast and that bitch would not be the same. Exactly. Hell yeah. That bitch would not be the fucking same, Hell bro. Yeah. But it's a podcast. Hell yeah. And a nigga hate on that shit. Oh, no, you trying to copy me. Yeah, man, you hell trying yeah. to copy hell me. Hell yeah. Man, shut the fuck Everybody up. Everybody got man. something different to talk hell, about type man. shit. Hell yeah. Shut the fuck up, man. Hell and yeah. let people get in where they fit in, man. Hell yeah. Shit, this money out here and they giving it away, my nigga. So hell you want to hate on the next motherfucker. Hell yeah. I want to talk about uh so the uh with the uh wave guard clothing so you say you started off with ten shirts so your initial investment what would you say you pay for them ten shirts what well, maybe what about a hundred dollars maybe something like right around there I think it was one hundred and fifty dollars one hundred and twenty five dollars okay so initial investment of a hundred and hundred to one hundred and fifty dollars you've basically turned into a store a whole fucking store. And as far as today, like, what are the type of products that you have for sale in the store right now? Besides, like you say, from 10 shirts. So everybody that's watching, like, listen to this man. From 10 shirts to where he at now, man. Shoot, we got we got short sets, like the, the cotton shirts and the uh, the cotton shorts. We got uh, track suits for females, uh, night suits for females, uh, hoodie jogger sets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We got 
jackets, bomber jackets, mechanic jackets. Damn. We have uh, custom shoes. We have uh, slides. You know, we got the, we got the slides. We got hats. Oh, really? We got socks. We oh, got really? uh, director garment uh, stuff, man. We, uh, got kids kids clothes. Damn. Kids kids uh, uh, shirts. Um, man. We do custom clothes. That's all I see. Y'all do customs we, we and do shit custom, too. We do Already. custom clothes. You Already. know what I'm saying? I don't know if you like one of the one of the one of the favorite people I like to dress are the gym, the gym, gym, uh, the gym tunes. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Oh, saying? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I seen you know them with some fly ass shit yeah, that you so, did for so, them. Hell so yeah. I get Hell the, yeah. them, them brothers fuck with me real tough, and I fuck with them real tough. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So yeah, and uh. Man, man, we do just about anything. You know what I'm saying. You can come in and place the order, man. You know what I'm saying. Shoot, we do, we we we, we do it all, bro. We got, we got. There, there's a variety of everything up in there, man. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Like I say, bro, it started with ten shirts, bro. And and like, and it ain't even the same, the same logo. You know what I'm saying. Oh, really? it, it, the original logo, it said Wave Gods. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And nah, we Wave God Supreme, dog. You know what I'm saying, like. For sure. We, we, this, this, this shit here real. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it, it ain't taken for nobody who came prior or whatever they, you know, the the things that's been said, you know what I'm saying, prior when we first started this shit, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, when people be talking about, when people be like, uh, the way God said, no, nah, man, uh-uh, you got to say Supreme, dog. No, uh, that shit, that shit, like... Go be them no, that shit pisses me off. When oh, people really? say the way guards, that yeah. shit pisses me off, man. Oh, like, really? dog, man, you gotta say the whole shit, nigga. Oh, really? That shit pisses me off. I don't like that shit. Oh, oh, way really? guards in the building. No, that no nigga, them niggas is not here, bro. <laughs> them niggas is not here, bro. Max still in prison, man. No, oh, really. All right, I mean, uh, one love Max B. Shout out, shout out Max B. Max still in prison, man. We not them niggas, man. It, it ain't like no. That ain't like no knock or nothing against them niggas and like that. I never do that shit, but shit, we not them niggas. We from Texas. Oh, really? And it's supreme on this. Hell yeah. So with the podcast, like you were saying, what what made you start the Man Look podcast? Man Look. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, like, Man Look. <laughs> Once again. When me and Clinton... First, start hanging around, bro. All these things were talked about. Different topics and shit Yo, like that. Yeah, like, like we wanted podcasts. Yeah, we like this is what a lot of people don't understand, man. I we've never done nothing out the blue. Yeah, it was already planned. It's just shit got the line itself. Exactly up. for sure. You know what for saying? sure. For sure. And Hell it might yeah. take three years. Exactly. It exactly. might take three years, Hell bro. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. But. We had the, you know, he brought me on to the Clint Peabody show. You know oh, what I'm really? saying? The news you could use part, right? Dropping knowledge and shit like that, right? I wanted to do Man Look because, you know, we, we're pretty clean cut on the Clint Peabody show. Already? Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay, bet, bet. Hell we're pretty yeah. clean cut. Hell yeah. I wanted to do Man Look because, nigga, it was some shit we need to talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that wasn't suitable yeah, necessarily for the Clint yeah, Peabody show. Yeah, for sure, you know what I'm sure. saying? There was some shit we need to talk about, man. And sometimes, you know, like, I had some... When, when I first started out, man, look, topics was, like, super, super serious. Oh, really? You know what I'm saying? Depression. Yeah. Uh, 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 child abuse. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, single parenting. I, I used to talk about, like, we used to talk about real, st like, some serious topics until... We kind of let loose a little bit, and, and you know, took started being more well rounded with yeah. like talking about sports topics. Yeah, just general about topics, topics. Yeah, for sure. You know for sure. Talking about Hell some yeah. shit, but you know, talking you know, well, uh, like I said, well rounded topics and stuff like that. But I, uh, what happened? COVID hit. We took some time off. We tried to come back a little bit, but. I think, bro, like, I think it's like, it's like this, like, uh, both of our, Clint be busy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm getting old. <laughs> so, I be wanting to really be in bed at a certain time. Already. Clint works. Already. 
and he gets off at a certain time. Uh, so I'll be, be tired, and Hell you know, yeah. and he be, and you know, he be just get, and he be wanting to be, he be wanting to be there on time. But you know, he I, he be getting off, so it kind of like that. And Free Cat came along with us and, st- and started with us on the uh, on it, but he he eventually had some some. Uh, a, 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 a situation, you know Alrighty. what I'm saying? Where we was trying to get back. So, it was like, I don't know if I'm not like, really, really ready to come back, come back. Even though, I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, man. I be having a thousand topics. Yeah. In my yeah. head throughout the day. I'm a, say, I'm always angry. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? About some shit that I see or, or I just feel like it's some shit that need to be said. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or I I, 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 I I see a nigga say something that's like, come on, man. You, we, we got to be better than that. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mainly with the state of the state we in, like right now, my nigga, with, with like this 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 killing of each other. Bro. Yeah, hell yeah. This is it's just it's just beyond me, bro. It's like like my bro, the KKK ain't running around killing us, dog. Yeah. These boys ain't listen. They, they, they ain't throwing no parties. They ain't, they, they ain't, man, they ain't doing nothing to us, man. Yeah. We doing all this to ourselves, bro. Hell and yeah. I'm talking about at record pace. Hell yeah. At record pace, man. And I, I, I'm just not feeling it. I mean, and, and the thing about it, bro, like, it's like this. The cycle... Is this you kill my partner? I'm gonna kill yours. So we tit for tat, so the cycle never stops. Yeah, hell yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It'll never stop, man. And this gonna go on throughout, like those, like th- those murders in the shop, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've seen videos where, where boys say, man, this gonna go on forever. God damn. You know what I'm saying? This gonna go on forever. And I'm like, damn, man, because you know that shit is deep, deeply rooted, man. And I be like, damn, man. Nigga can't even get a chance at life. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's what I Can't even get a too. chance at life. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Shit, yeah, you definitely need to bring it back, shit. Some kind of way, shit. Somehow, some way, you definitely need to bring it back, shit. Man, like... For sure. Like, I, uh, I don't understand where this hate lies within us like that towards each other man like you know they always say like bro you know whether you know the rappers rap about this stuff you know what i'm saying look here man that ain't there's a machine to everything yeah hell yeah there's a machine to everything bro if you don't if you don't if you don't if you don't do something to the machine Hell it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna, shit. You dig what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Can't blame it on the rappers because yeah. why? Shit, them, a lot of us rapping life experiences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or shit, they they seeing that it, a lot of these niggas ain't even like that. But this is the music that's getting niggas paid. Yeah. And I'm and I'm good with making this type of music. Even Hell though yeah. I ain't even like this. Hell yeah. Hell shit, yeah. it's fucked up over here. What Hell I tell yeah. you, poverty. Hell yeah. It's fucked up over here, man. Hell yeah. Kyle Lauren, Lauren, what's that nigga name? Lauren, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Lauren, whatever that motherfucker name. <laughs> the nigga told you he'll take talent over condition. Oh, shit. The, the black condition. Oh, he'll the take Le- Leon Coy type Coyne. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. He told us. Hell yeah. He told you he'll take, the, he'll take your talent over your condition because he got to feed his family. Hell yeah. Yeah, I damn. And y'all mad at yet. Yeah, I damn. That's why I asked you too about some current topics too before we get out of here. First, first, I guess I asked you, but like about the current situation that's going on with the video surfaced recently with with Ti basically saying that he snitched on his. I mean, not I guess he's not saying that he snitched, but basically Ti saying that he told on some crimes or murders that his cousin had did. So he could walk away. His lawyer basically told him he could walk away from some crimes if he basically blamed them on his dead cousin. And I guess basically T.I. did it so he got to walk away from them crimes. He told it. But uh, Baby's brother, Gangsta Williams, basically did the same shit and everybody's calling him a snitch. So is 
T.I. not a snitch or is he a snitch or oh, it, it, not? I guess maybe not blend it like that. And then I guess like I seen some people like on Facebook basically saying there's levels to snitching. Man, I've never heard that's, that that's shit. That's a snitch. <laughs> that's a snitch. You told it, nigga. You told it. Come on, man. We can't. We can't do that, bro. So dead or alive, if you that. tell on some crimes that a person it. did, you told it. Whatever you do, but look, look, bro, look. This is when we when we take this oh. We're going to talk about this shit. When we take this oath, we took the oath, bro. We took the oath to play this shit to the fucking end. We took the oath. So now y'all telling me y'all lied to these young niggas. Yeah. You niggas lied to these young niggas. These niggas niggas done sacrificed their life out here in these motherfucking streets and held to the code. Now they doing life sentences, nigga. Hell yeah. These niggas done, these young niggas done held to the code on dope cases. Now they doing life sentences, nigga. Rico charges and shit like that because they held to the code because you you old niggas told them this is what we supposed to fucking do, nigga. Facts. That's facts. You told them that. Hell yeah. You told, this is what y'all told us, nigga. So when one of you niggas snitch or when one of you niggas do some shit like that, you broke the code, nigga, you lied. Already. You should have told the nigga the truth. Yeah, man, if you can get yourself out of the situation, get yourself out. So the nigga could have got himself out of the situation. Already. Tell him, to, tell, him, tell him what you're going to do from the jump. Yeah. Don't sit up here and sell us this lie. Hell yeah. Because niggas is doing the real time behind this shit, Facts. behind holding to the code. Facts. Facts. And you sat up here and said, nigga, you a real nigga. Even even rap the shit and preach preach the shit and all his That's different to anybody. That's to like anybody, that. bro. Already. That's to anybody. Already. That's to anybody, bro. They know this. Yeah. They know this. They know this, bro. Hell yeah. I got You're another. not no civilian. <laughs> Hell yeah. Another one too. What do you what do you think about fucking Charleston goddamn white? Look, man. I'm my nigga, dog. <laughs> I don't give a fuck nobody say about Charleston. Look, let me tell you why. Yeah, explain, explain why. I'm going to tell you why, dog. I used to hate that nigga. <laughs> and you know why I realized that I hated, I had hated that nigga? Because he was talking to me. Everything that nigga, the type of niggas he was talking about said, nigga, that was me. Already. So, the only niggas that's mad is niggas that, who are you talking about? Already. <laughs> Them the only niggas that's mad. Do just as many niggas hate that nigga, just as many people like that nigga. Yeah, man. for sure, for sure. Because he does a look, lot of good work look, in like the community. It's his delivery, like that. right? That's what it is. It's his delivery. That's All what right. people hate. It's his delivery, right? Martin Luther King tried to talk nice to you, nigga. <laughs> what y'all do? We whacked him. <laughs> Own people. God damn. We let the CIA get in and have us committed. <laughs> Nigga, Malcolm X tried to talk to you with intelligence and sophistication. What did we do? We kill him. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, Nigga, gotta... Moses tried to talk to y'all, eat y'all with the staff and shit. Nigga, y'all, yo, you rebellious motherfuckers didn't even let the nigga get across the motherfucking mountain. Mount Sinai, <laughs> nigga. Nigga they didn't even get the crossover, nigga. God rebellious damn. bitches. God damn. Jesus came out all night. And look, they no, I ain't even lie. If y'all read deeper in the nigga, Jesus wasn't no friendly ass nigga. Well, really. He wasn't no friendly nigga. Read the scripture, nigga. He flipped over motherfucking tables. Cause y'all niggas up in here uh casting <laughs> lots in the motherfucking y'all nigga playing bingo in the motherfucking goddamn synagogue, nigga. <laughs> you nigga know what I'm saying? He told them niggas, look, nigga go, he, he say, he, he, he say, he say, he say, what do they think of me that you the son of God? He say, bring them before my, before my feet and kill them. If that's what they think, thank them, bring them before my feet and kill them. And smite them at the neck. That's in the Bible, nigga. Oh, really? Hell yeah. Nigga, <laughs> nigga gotta say, nigga gotta talk, nigga can't talk nice to these young niggas out here, man. <laughs> You know that? You can't talk nice to these kids out here, man. Yeah, the Quran yeah, say yeah, speak to sure. the people, speak to the people in the language in which they understand. I gotta talk <laughs> English to this nigga. Yeah, I did. They say speak 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 to the people in the language speak the language speak to the people in the language in which they understand, nigga. I gotta talk crazy to these niggas, man, because that's what they understand. Already. Yeah, I did. And then who tells you? This is what I'm doing, and I'm that type of nigga, and you still get mad at the nigga and fuck with the nigga. Yeah, 
He done told you who he was. That's that's where I I I, I get into it. I guess I don't really I don't really like him, but I don't really hate him. I guess I just I watch some of the shit he posts and shit like that. I just got I don't really just fuck with it. But the thing I I guess I can respect with that nigga is you know where the fuck he stands. Look, it's like a fucking racist. If you're gonna be racist, be fucking blatantly yeah. out racist and let me know you racist. Don't be an undercover racist. If 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 I, I respect you both, if I know where yeah. you stand off top, that way I can just know from the beginning to not fuck with you. Instead of trying to be your friend and then a Look, couple of months later finding out, people, oh, you racist and shit. Nah, let me know where you stand off top type shit. People used to get mad at me because I liked Trump. I didn't like Trump. I liked Trump because I knew who the fuck he was. That nigga didn't sugarcoat shit. I can deal with that. Yeah. Then a nigga who pulling the wool over my eyes. Already. You know, that's why I like the man. Already. I didn't like the man. I like the man. Already. Shit, fuck. I like a motherfucker. I know I can deal. I know what I'm doing. Man, I know how to maneuver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. a nigga, if a nigga good enough to fool me, man, I don't like that shit. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Look, man, with with CW dog, dog, it's like this. It's, what, what, what bothers people is the delivery. But my nigga, y'all niggas sit up here and speak on the dead. Talk bad about the dead. You nigga, from, from, what, from where I'm from, nigga, once the nigga gone, we don't speak on the nigga. Yeah. You niggas got that shit in y'all. Y'all, y'all niggas say that shit in y'all songs, man. Y'all act like these niggas ain't got no mamas, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, talking about they smoking on the such you know and such. Yeah, packs y'all act like these niggas don't got no mamas. Yeah. Y'all act like they, some of these niggas ain't had no children, no family or nothing. I'm not with that, bro. Yeah, hell yeah. So, how you gonna tell me not to speak on it when this is what y'all niggas do? Y'all been contradictive now. Already. You been contradictive. You know what I'm saying? So. If you say you this and you stay you that, nigga, you got to stand on it. He stand on his. That nigga yeah, say, I'm going to call the laws on you. What he do? <laughs> call the laws. He stand on his. <laughs> he don't, have you ever seen that nigga run? <laughs> have you ever seen that nigga run nah, from them niggas? When the that, niggas pulled up, when any nigga pulled up on Charleston White, have you ever seen that nigga run? Yeah, no, he pulled out that mace. That nigga stand <laughs> his ground, don't he? Yeah, yeah. And he, he, he said he going to die by it. Uh, you yeah. niggas ain't tough as y'all say y'all are, bro. <laughs> because nigga, he be right there smoking. Yeah, hell yeah, hell. That same shit I be thinking. Smoke too. him. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But you want to smoke this nigga, but that other nigga that smoked your nigga still s- s- talking about smoking on your nigga. Hell yeah. God right, damn. Hell yeah. Sometimes, like sometimes, like I be like, damn, boy, you tripping, Charleston. You you going a little too far. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I I be like, man, they don't need to, you know, yada 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 yada. But it's a lot of shit I understand and where that nigga coming from, bro. No, really. He talked to you niggas the way y'all talk to our elderly people, the way y'all talk to our women, and the way y'all talk to each other. No, really. You don't want a nigga talking like that to you? Quit talking like that to everybody else, bro. For sure, for sure. I feel that. Have some respect about yourself. Oh, I'm not. I'm not telling no. I'm not. I'm not. Look, man. I'm not telling no nigga to uh not do what he do or anything like that. What I'm telling some. What I'm telling a nigga have some dignity about this shit. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have some morals and some ethics and some fucking codes. But see, it go back to these niggas telling these niggas how it's supposed to be. And y'all lie. And they ain't living by so it. they so so they don't respect it. So when you, so when a nigga like me try to come and tell them the truth, they point at you niggas like that yeah. and say, "No, nah, them niggas, no." Nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My word ain't good enough no more, man. And they know I'm a legit nigga. No, oh, really. But because you niggas went and fucked up and did the bullshit, and y'all ain't standing what y'all done. Them young niggas don't want to listen to a nigga no more. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nigga, y'all, you nigga, y'all said y'all niggas like that. Look at that nigga. Look at that nigga did over there, nigga. Yeah, hell yeah. For sure. I feel that for sure. For sure. Before we get up out of here, man, what's 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 coming up new for Daddy Cree? What you got coming up in the future? Man. I'm hoping to collab with Kobe on this book. Like the call like the Wave Chronicles. I like Wave Etiquettes. You know what I'm saying? Already. And uh 
getting better with the custom shoes, one thing. But I'm also trying to take the clothing line like to another level as far as doing uh my own sewing and stuff like that. Oh, like shit, super, already, super custom fit. Already. You know what I'm saying? Where I I literally buy material of my choice, a material that I like and, you know, custom a bomber jacket or custom, you know, uh some cargo cargo shorts or or, or or you know what I'm saying? Make a make a make a whole unit, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Some real live way guard shit, you know what I'm saying? Some one and done, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I I'm really I'm really, you know, I'm really trying to get on a level that's so exclusive that like, man, you know, I might drop, you know, me and Clint might be able to the to the point to where we drop like Two hundred and fifty pieces. Already. You know what I'm saying? And you got to get in there and get it. Yeah. Until the next whatever pieces are made. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I want that's how I want Wave Guard to be so exclusive that you know only only the exclusive come to get the shit. You Already. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where where where's that like authentic that yeah, that, yeah. That, 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 that that like pristine Yeah, to yeah, that, exactly. Like you say supreme shit yeah, for sure. Yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So that's where that's where that's where I'm really trying to go with that. Well, before before we step out, I want to, I want to tell like you say about the shoes. I want to talk, tap into the shoes real quick. So what 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 got you into doing the custom shoes and shit like that? Like like I said, bro, I was drawing them in prison. Oh shit! I God. was drawing yeah, shoes shit. in prison. <laughs> I was drawing. That's what I was telling you. I was drawing shirts. I was drawing shoes. I was drawing designs. Yeah. I was doing this, man. I was doing this in. I, w- I went to the penitentiary in 2004. I was doing this in 2006. That's when I started okay. drawing, 2006. I can, man, I got a, I got my booklet at the crib, bro. And you know, look. But as far as today, as far as like doing the first pair that you just did recently, like what, 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 put, what, what actually pushed you to actually do that first look, pair that you did look, recently? Look, man, I had my, 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 my airbrush machine for a year. Already. I had my paint for a year. I had everything. Already. I just didn't, I, I, I sat back and I watched enough video. Okay, you know bet. Yeah, exactly. I, I watched exactly. video for a year. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and they go back to the hate. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, people don't realize like my inspiration come from youtube and, yeah. and, and instagram you know what I'm saying? i try to do what the the best you, do. you study you know a, yeah. a lot and just put it all together yeah. to try to, I, to do it I your try, type of I way to, not, even even some some i do some i don't sometimes you know i see what they did and i try to emulate it exactly you know yeah, what i'm saying yeah. i try i try i try to emulate it too you know what i'm saying to uh and then maybe when i i, I see it i say you know what I can do this, do that, and then I go from there. You know what I'm yeah. saying? The next time I do, but sometimes I do. You know what I'm saying? On certain shoes, not all of them, but some of them do. But that's all right, my nigga. That's not enough to make a motherfucker want to jump on Facebook and try to talk slick about the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they do it too, but they got a little more experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Niggas is weak for that shit, man. Hell yeah. Niggas is weak for that shit, but that's you know like, man, and, and I. I I'm just a person who finds inspiration in the nigga next to me. I don't have to look on the fucking, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't yeah, have yeah. to look outside my city and shit like that. And niggas don't understand that, man. That's that's some genuine shit. For sure, for sure. So where can people find you at on social media, man? Man, you can find me at Wagar Supreme 361. Wagar Supreme, uh, Wagar Supreme 361 LLC on Instagrams. On Instagrams, like uh, Kodak Black <laughs> on Instagrams. You can find me at Creon Martin on uh, Facebook. You can find me at Daddy, I think it's Daddy Cree361 on uh, Snapchat. Already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you can find me at Wave Guard Supreme361 on uh, TikTok, which I've been, that's where you'll find like, a lot of the shoes and stuff, and that's the, that's like the, what I'm I'm kind of messing with. That's right why you're now. posting all the videos, and and doing why, all yeah, the customs and shit you know right what I'm now. Saying? Because right. I ain't gonna lie, man, that TikTok it gets you some views, bro. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. I mean, eventually you can monetize yeah, that yeah. shit with the fucking videos that yeah. you're doing because it's all goddamn yeah, original t- content and shit. And, like, and that. like like me, six six hundred videos. I mean, views is is like, and I just been on TikTok for maybe about a month or two. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot for me. You Already. know what I'm saying? I only been on there for about a month or two. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to learn the hashtag. Yeah, hell yeah. You stuff hell, like yeah. that 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 deal with what you're dealing with. Hell yeah. This, and see, this is why I watch other 
artists, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I go through their hashtags. I see what they yeah, need, what they get. Yeah. Because my nigga, bro, you got to do these things to get to the next yeah, level, bro. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't about... I'm trying to steal something. Or I'm trying to copy somebody, yeah. bro. I'm trying to be like the fucking best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to be like the best. If I can't sit there at the table with them and ask them, bro, at least I can watch them. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? So niggas be corny, bro. For sure, for sure. And what's the address to visit the Wave Guard store if anybody wants some gear or to get some custom kicks done? Yeah, we're at 1501 West Point Road, Suite 401. We're next to the Tool Shed, right across from uh. Trap House Kitchen. We don't have a sign outside, but I'm working on that, man. But we are right there, uh, right, right there in the vicinity, man. Right across from Old Cliff Malls, behind the uh, the neighborhood store, man. We right there, come in there, man, and check us out. You can, like I said, we have a variety of things, man. You can put a uh, you can put in an order for a pair of custom shoes. You know what I'm saying? The deal on the way we go about doing the custom shoes is that you know. Your shoe is your deposit. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you bring your shoe in or, or you can send me the money and I'll go get your shoe for you. You cash out me the money and I'll go get your shoe All for right. you. You know what I'm saying? And then we'll go from there. Shoes ranges, you know, from kid sizes to adult sizes. And, they, and you know, with, with, with your shoe already bought, you know what I'm saying? The prices... The prices range from once you, the customers start from up to a hundred, but it could go up to about five hundred. Oh, really? So they started a hundred dollars. Yeah, so basically, customers started at hundred dollars. That's yeah. what you're If you bring, you bring your own shoe, you bring your customers starting at a hundred dollars already. You know what I'm for saying? sure, for sure. And like I say, that that's with the size. You know what I'm saying? Because we do, we start at kid sizes, and, and you know, depending on what you want, it's, it's a start at a hundred dollars, even though it's a kid shoe. Oh, really? You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? And of course. It, but majority of the time, even when it gets to the adult, you know, it starts at 150. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like really. 175 when you start customizing, oh, customizing really. it. Depending you know on saying? how crazy you want to yeah. go with the type yeah. shit. Hell yeah. For sure, for sure, man. Well, appreciate you coming through, man. Mm. It's Riding High with DJ Lil King. Appreciate my guest today, Daddy Cree, man. Representing that Wave Guard Supreme, man. Y'all make sure y'all visit the stove, follow me on all the social media and all that good shit, man. We out this bitch. Peace. Your boy DJ Lil King, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>